What's the one thing great. y'all feel like y'all haven't done yet that you want to do? Man, Go make that, make that well, for for me for us, I say make that classic that movie that classic comedy because I know it's coming. Yeah, we got it. It's on the it's, way. It's on the way. Yeah. like that's the thing that you know, and that and making some music mm-hmm. like us actually getting in the studio and putting something out because mm-hmm. people have been asking us for that for a decade. It's on the way. You yeah. know what I mean, it's like no freestyle, fly, fly crazy. you know, fly always. Mm-hmm. As me, because that's that's what he's that's his first love, his yeah. passion. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, well, I'm a cartoon fan. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a cartoon, I don't want to say cartoon junkie. If you make the right cartoon, you can make anybody sit down. Yeah, but it gotta like you gotta think about it. We were them kids that grew up all. Hey Arnold and yeah. Arthur and all that shit. Them was some wholesome yeah, ass cartoons. Yeah. And we just sitting there all day watching cartoons TV. with a life lesson. Back yeah. to Hey Arnold. Yeah. 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 with a stranger. Martin Luther King didn't necessarily man. resist arrest, but he ain't let him just lock him up easy. You know how a nigga kind of strong on the police? Like, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, but well, go and put it back down in, nigga. You weak ass. <laughs> Look, I ain't even put my hand I'm not in. resisting, though. I'm right. not, my brother. You just strong. You weak, nigga. What are you? You a hell of an actor. If you could play any uh, any role, man, any any historical figure, who would you want to be? Oh, a historical figure? That's a good one, man. That's a good one. <laughs> Shit, he was already by Brown. I know. I mean, that's one, so that's my ass. Who's another one? Mm. You'd be a good Nino Brown. Like if Nino Brown, they had a new Nino Brown. But that's fictional. But that's fictional, bro. Man, we need man, somebody that's now. like... Man, that's that's just fucked up. Because, I mean, I know it's fictional, but ever since I seen that movie... I ain't never called that man Wesley Snipes again. For real? I swear to God, everything I see him, man, I'm like, bro, you know Nino Brown and Blake. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that nigga played a whole lawyer in Jungle Fever, and I was like, nigga, Nino Brown in love with a white woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> nigga, that That's crazy. For real. I get that too. Niggas play roles like that. You know, Bobby Brown in the Yolanda Adams video. Niggas getting mad at you for, for your character. They labeling Kane? you. Yeah. Okay. You think so? I don't think they labeling you. Me, you telling them you like, I am Woody in real life. I ain't fucking with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really just be trolling, though. I know niggas ain't fucking with it. I just be talking. But, but that's good for the show. Job. Yeah. yeah. Real good. You did a great job, you know what I mean? That's like, hard to do. I do um, Deion Sanders. Yeah. Prime. It's like Prime. I do Prime Time. Yeah, that's I want to do that. That'll be dope. hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire. Prime with the Jerry Curl? Hell yeah. 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 Bro, that shit crazy. You, could, you definitely could do the Jerry Curl. I'll do that. That should be hard. Yeah. Be able to redo the Must Be the Money video. <laughs> so crazy. My fam is done. My fingers now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what's so cold about yeah. that song, bro? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck if didn't nobody like it, nigga. He like He was locked in. <laughs> like, you don't remember me a problem, remember? Uh, so crazy. Yeah. That nigga was dancing back Just then, him, too. Just hammer and like nine holes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give a fuck if did nobody like it. He liked it. Yeah. yeah. That's fire. I'd probably beat MC Hammer. Oh, that'd be hard. Right. Mm-hmm. You'd be a good hammer next. I knew it. I got to drink a lot of water. I got to be, that's a lot of dancing. You go crazy. Yeah. yeah. We got to see that, though. That's going to be hard. That's fire. I got to gain some weight. Easy. There you go. Ah. How you do it? That nigga's pants was training. full of air, nigga. You ain't gonna know how big you is. You put on, <laughs> you put on some hammer pants. <laughs> I'm talking about up top, though. But I can't no, he move. was small then, too. Oh, cool. I, I'm thugging. If you had to play somebody from the Bible, who would you want to be? From the Bible? From the Bible. Uh, Joseph. Why Joseph? He just had tranquility. He was just calm in every situation. He never just he never acted off impulse. It was like, all right, nigga, you gotta get sold to slavery by your family. He was like, what, what? Boom. All right, nigga, you you the king in the jail. Mm-hmm. All right, boom. You get out. All right, nigga, you the king. You the second in command. Boom. All right, the nigga who is command, he leave. His wife wanna fuck you, but you stay down. You a loyal nigga. Like I, that just that's my character. I'm a loyal person. I, I I'm built off principles. I don't act up on the impulse. Mm-hmm. And I know God got favor on me. You feel me? Joseph just was a tough, he was a tough individual, man. Bro, you, that's a tough job, though. I know, to but... To be Jesus' stepdaddy? 
Oh, he ain't said. <laughs> Not that Joseph. Oh, 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 I thought, that okay. That was way much. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would be in the Bible, Methuselah. <laughs> that nigga, that, that's way before he Jesus came be, in the picture. be Jesus stepped out. I was like, what? what, what you gonna, that, that's bad. Why you just break that thought that's up? All what what you gonna tell Jesus, bro? You can't tell him shit. Yeah. <laughs> you just, Hey man, huh? say man. What we do? Hey, that ain't it. It's, it's man. Man. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. Say man. Hey man. Memphis man. Oh, go Memphis. Memphis man. man. Memphis man. I forgot the day man, but we, we coming. October man. twelve. Man. October twelve man. We gonna be in South Haven. They're right back. We Memphis. going to motherfucking. Same so everybody from Memphis can drive over there. Yeah, well, you know he, South Haven he, right now. He from, so we not going to Memphis. So we going to Mississippi. We're going to South Haven, Mississippi. But it's North Mississippi. Man, and everybody from Memphis is going to come. Everybody in Memphis going to go. But to all South the Mississippi anyway. people coming too. Hey, South Haven with the Center. No cap. October, October 12th. 12th. Yeah, man, get one of them birds, man. That's a so favorite too. So you ain't got no excuse. We're going to go ahead, man. Call one, man, and get one of them birds. So we're going to South Haven. Hit the website. October 12th. But a lot of Memphis people get one of them birds, man. Close to Memphis. Get one of them birds, man. Memphis this way. Real, man. Right there, so like South Haven, then he gonna get one of them birds, man. You trying to get some birds? Um, birds. At least makes the neighborhood a little bit more safe. No doubt. At least for the kids. October 12th. Try to correct <laughs> Jesus, I even stop. Man, all right. What you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> now you gonna tell me Jesus. I'm your Lord and Savior. <laughs> 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 Jesus said, Jesus. Nah, I'd be Joseph, man. You know what I mean? Joseph was, Joseph was cool. He was, he was turned. Who you be? Noah, uh -huh. get on the boat. You can't swim. I can't swim, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, we're right in danger, yeah. which is cool because God got to save you. Noah but... wasn't swimming. <laughs> but still, you got to get in that water. You ain't getting in the water for nothing. I learned how to swim. Fuck them giraffes. Fuck that two for everything. What about me and my children? <laughs> uh. Got to get on that boat. Got to get on that ark. Mm -hmm. They got to build it. Yeah, they built it. And when you know, you know hey, yeah, yeah, you do. You got a Mississippi family. Man, come on, bro. They be some building motherfuckers. And you know, Noah was a drunk too. Yep. God let him sneak a little liquor on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No yeah. why. That's crazy. He got a little wine. He got a little bit of Exactly who I'd be. Who? God from the Old Testament. I'd be Old Testament God, bro. For real? Old Testament God was a gangster. I was just gonna say, he, he got angry at that. Old Testament mm -hmm. God was mean. Spiteful. Bro. Yeah, yeah, Old Testament God was. He wasn't vicious. spiteful. He was just more so. Nah, he, he was mad at y'all niggas was just disobedient. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Old Testament God. How y'all? He like, man, you good. Old Testament the nigga like, God was. Who we got to pray to? And God like, I just told yeah, you. Yeah, you nigga. come in. Let me find you niggas praying to that bull again. It's on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop Let's explain me something so we can bring it in. It's a lot of interesting characters in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Solomon. Solomon had how many wives? 700. He's 700 crazy. wives. But, I definitely but see, he messed yeah. up. See, I don't, you know why I don't mind being Joseph? Because I don't really too much care how my life go. I know God got me. And Joseph really ain't make no mistake. Mm. He stayed loyal to God. Other people had done made mistakes, like King Solomon. He was smooth until the women he started bringing in, he started believing in their God. That's yeah. where they get you. And, and God told him, no, the women that you bring into your life, you supposed to tell them to believe in me. Don't be out here believing yeah. in what they doing, man. What's wrong with you? Tighten up. That's why, remember the last woman who, who, who tried to get to him? Finally got to him? He was like, all right. Well, when everything fell down. Mm -hmm. Well, he was straight after he got back, right? I'm too high. I'm too high because I just started thinking about some, some totally unrelated shit, right? What happened? Like, God supposed to be, like, all forgiving, right? Right. So if the devil ever apologized to God... Mm. Would he want? Well, I don't know. He won't? What if, what if, like, he be the devil for, like, a certain amount of time, then his heart changed like a murderer, and then he convert back? The way that nigga is, he just won't apologize. He always think he is. He, he think he, he is. Shit, yeah. He want to be God. DC yeah. said that shit like he was just hollering at him. Yeah, that nigga he is, bro. He ain't gonna change. Y'all know bro. that nigga, bro. Yeah, he ain't changing, bro. bro. <laughs> See, that's, know but that look, nigga, man. that's how <laughs> niggas get deceived yeah. in thinking that a nigga is. I'm like, nah, my nah, nigga. You just gotta know who, 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 that's who he is. Yeah. Now, people always. He the nigga like, that's trying to deceive you. He the yep. one that be like, he gonna try to act like a nigga who you believe in, and he gonna come around and be like, you know what? You really did this by yourself. Yeah. And you like, you think so? Man, I know so. Mm -hmm. You got all the flavor. Where you think it's coming from? Gas. And then you like, 
the nigga who started the, 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 to the tear, I'm like, nah, buddy, you got to always know that it, it coming from the higher power. That's real. That's real. That's what, that's what sparked the quest. Yeah. Because it can never not be evil, right? Like, even if you don't believe in the construct of, like, the devil and the... But evil real than a motherfucker. It is. You ever been around somebody with an evil-ass spirit? Yeah. Yep. Easy. And they're too naive to apologize, right? Mm. You don't even want their apologize. Sometimes you don't even know how deep it is. You yeah. just can feel it without even talking to them. Mm. That's what I'm saying. But this is the thing, though. They so messed up on the inside, they mad at your happiness. Mm -hmm. So they trying to tell you and convince you that your happiness is wrong. Mm -hmm. we see and that it's like, day. how? We see that every day. Easy. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. They trying to deceive you to say that your happiness is wrong. Mm. Because I'm not happy. Why are you happy? Uh -huh. And when and that ain't, and they trying to deceive you and let you know that that's not how it go. You like, no, just because you ain't figured it out. You can't put your troubles on me. And but that's the thing though. This is why you gotta look at those people that that's just who they are. And you like, hmm, you trying to deceive me and make me deter from the higher power. Now I gotta tell you about yourself. Mm. This is why it's going on in your life. This is why you gonna be like this. And nigga, you can't blame me or anybody else. And if you keep doing that, fuck nigga, you gonna die like that. And I ain't gonna feel sorry for you. But I know somebody who may have sympathy for you, but I won't. Mm. That's what he told the devil. Talk your shit. <laughs> you feel me? Devil, you feel me? <laughs> That's why I don't like snakes, man. Yeah. I ain't biting no apple, nigga. Stomp mm -hmm. that snake head in the ground, man. Mm -hmm. Why you keep making me bite this apple? I was already told instructions and proper instructions. And you trying to sit here and tell me, well, you know, that apple look like the other apple you bite. What's wrong with that apple over there? Mm. And that's how niggas is. They like, yeah, that's right. It do look like them apples mm -hmm. over there. But bitch, nigga, I just told you that apple ain't yours, bro. Just keep over here. The curiosity, curious will kill the mind. Easy. That's why you always be so curious and thinking like, all right, well, let me figure this out or let me see what's going on over here instead of just being obedient. Yeah. Disobedience always have people go on the and idle time as the devil's playground. That's the same. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And he love playing with your mind, bro. Like, that's how he feed off his energy. Like, he love that shit. He love manipulating. He love mm -hmm. getting you to do the, the opposite. Mm -hmm. Because that's really the battle. You think they gonna be obedient? Mm -hmm. And God, like, you know, try it out and see. He like it. Easy. Watch me. He love that shit. Yeah. You feel me? That's why you got to be a warrior, be willing to fight every day. Mm -hmm. Knowing every that day. motherfuckers are here trying to deceive you. I'm a warrior. I'm ready to fight. Hmm. I don't give a fuck. You come come me with that bullshit, I'm sending you back to your maker. Easy. Back. And be like, bitch, nigga. Ha! With a note. <laughs> That's your strongest soldier. This is your king! Get him out of there. Send this nigga back, man. Peasant. <laughs> Puny boy. <laughs> think about that shit, though. Like, when you go back and you and you just think about, like, just your life experiences. Right. And the time where it's like, okay, this had to be this because this is this. Right. Sometimes you, you look back at the way shit happened or the way shit play out and you be like, I know these ain't the times where I was thinking I was in control. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because look at us. We've been able to enjoy some of the, like, beyond our wildest dreams type shit. Mm -hmm. And we get to do this shit on the regular so much yeah. that sometimes we forget that these are the times that we pray for. These mm -hmm. are the dreams. Like, we we literally get to chase our dreams. Mm -hmm. I don't forget it. I say that all the time. But you but you, know, but you understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, nigga, a norm. We, we was just hoping for the one chance to do it. Right. And we get to do this shit for mm -hmm. years Cause, at a time. Because that's the thing. When you're obedient, it comes abundantly. It's not just one time. It's the opportunity. You have... Think about it, though, We have been blessed with one opportunity mm -hmm. that opened up a door for many other opportunities. We take advantage of each opportunity. Mm -hmm. We never play. So this is the outcome of squeezing out as much as you can out of each opportunity. We still squeezing out of one opportunity, gang. Yeah. This is still on, we still on the same opportunity. <clears throat> from when we sat down and said, let's figure this out. Mm -hmm. It's still from the same one opportunity, but it lasted infinity. Mm -hmm. And we keep going. 
That's what I, I say yeah. all the time. And you can't complain about the things that you would be asking God for if you didn't have them. So, like, the, the, the blessings that we have and the people coming up. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do is pick more or less two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize Picks is the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy. So that your lineup stay in play even if one of your players get injured. That's dope. Prize Picks is the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy so that your lineup stay in play even if one of your players get injured. If your player leaves in the first half and doesn't return, Prize Picks still keeps your picks alive. Download the Prize Picks app today and use promo code 885SOUTH to get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code 885SOUTH on Prize Picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize Picks, run your game. Get my picks in right quick. Report. October 19th. Yeah, where we going? Brookshire Shreveport. Grocery Arena. No Shreveport. Shreveport. Some groceries in there. Yeah. No cap. Grocery Arena. In there. You know what I mean? Shreveport. We coming in with no groceries because they should be in the arena. And you should too. I don't want them there because they're going to be over yeah. October 19th. Get your tickets. 85 South Show dot com. Shreveport. Yeah, where we going? Shreveport. I mean, shit. Shreveport. Shreveport. Fuck, my bad. And we were just, my bad. My bad. Shreveport. Don't start the shit over. Added that part out. We were just talking about Birmingham, Shreveport. Right. My fault. Right I ain't had no groceries. So that's why I got to come to Shreveport, get my mind. Go to right. Shreveport. <laughs> He had his mind. No cap. Up to you asking for pictures and, you know what I mean, the things you got to do, being up for all the hours that y'all was up today and all that. If you didn't have that, this is what you would be asking God to bless you with. Mm -hmm. so you, you know what, though? About the blessing. I, I was thinking about that shit from, like, all different angles, too, right? right. It's like, when you say you, you take them pictures or you have that conversation or you meet that fan, or you don't know if that was they, if they ever just was watching you, like, God, I just want to meet that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real. You get what I'm saying? You don't know who, yeah. how, what that meant to them on the other side. <laughs> That's how I judge it all, because I just treat people the way I would have wanted the people that I looked at like they looking at me when I was their age as young people. If I was a kid and I saw Martin walking through my neighborhood, how would I have wanted Martin to embrace me if I ran right. up on him? Mm. That's the type of mentality that I had with dealing with people, because you never know. Like, people see you, and you we do it every day so we kind of lost that understanding of what it's like to be on the other side of that box but when you put nah, yourself i remember i, I still i remember i still I was gonna say, I remember. Yeah, I got this motherfucker late I and that's why it's like i know that this shit late, is still a dream you get what i'm saying because it's like we still had a moments where you see people who will make you freeze and just like i'm a fan mm -hmm. yeah i don't give a fuck who see it like yeah. if i ever I, like that's you know the fuck? Yeah. Come on, I did man. That when I met AI, same mm -hmm. thing. I put yeah. The yeah, you just that just yeah. happened you yeah. recently, yeah. right? I was like, oh my god! But see, you got to look like, too, you got to yeah. look you got to look at it like this, right? We all came from nothing. When it's like nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, mm -hmm. zero. So we never lose sight of that one particular step of leap of faith that it all took for us to be like, right. damn, that's all it took. Mm -hmm. Well, we soon we took that leap of faith. Everything just came, all this came along with it. So it's more so like, once you realize where you come from and you realize where you're going, and this really ain't yours for real, we just great at what we do. We continue to perfect our craft. God done gave each and every last one of us individually a talent, a profession, but we give thanks and give thanks back by perfecting it because what we do help others. It's, mm -hmm. It only helps us. But it helps multitudes of people. So by us doing this, we are at service. Yeah, yeah. Always. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we are at service where it's like, yes, this is also helping me because mentally in the space that we need to be in in order for us to be happy, because we all love to do what mm -hmm. we do. That's why he gave us the gift, because at the end of the day, we're gonna learn how to do it when we don't want to. We're gonna learn how to do it when we love to do it. Yep. And when we do it, we all get in a realm where we don't think about life. Mm -hmm. We're in our space and in our moment, and that's the the moment that we're sharing with the high power. Uh, that is like, you know what? I love this space, yeah. and if we continue to perfect this space, mm -hmm. we only we love it for ourselves. But when we look out into the crowd, it's like, 
But look at all the people that were touching with this yeah. one specific yeah. gift. Yeah. And they need it. Mm -hmm. Like, they need it more than we do. Because they don't know how to express themselves. They do, but we are speaking for the multitudes of people. That's why they resonate with us. They like, you know he what? said everything I wish I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> it's time to tell them. Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Talk your talk. <laughs> talk your talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk your talk, Cameron. <laughs> man, I mean, is this really even a guest? This really nah, like nah, this family. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, man. Yeah. But we're going to get do this shit right, bro. This one of the coldest young actors Talented. in Hollywood right now, man. He he has already uh, solidified himself with an epic role portrayal. Uh, it's going to definitely top five of all times for me when it comes to motherfuckers bringing and characters to life on that screen. Facts, facts. Man, he taking over the TV, cable, movies, everywhere you look, man. Well respected in the industry, man. None other than Mr. Woody McLean. Hey. Hey. Hell yeah. Sir. Hey. Man, Woody, you just said man. something before we, we was just chopping it up. You said you got in late. What you mean by that? Got in late because I was backup dancing. So I started backup dancing when I was like, what, 23, 24. So I got a chance to see how like the artist was treating certain people. So that's how I know how to move now. Because I got a chance to see how Tank would walk in the room and then it would just be like, everybody love this nigga. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he just has such great energy. I was like, damn, I always want to be like Tank. I just want to show everybody respect. Mm -hmm. Then when I worked with Tank on New Edition, it was like he still came in with that. He treat everybody. I don't, I don't care if it's a janitor, but he treats you with, with respect, respect, bro. Right. So people like that, seeing it from behind the scenes was really dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Which, why I can do it and not be like... Yeah, not right. be consumed with yeah, what you, cause you like, used but to. But you came from Vine, then. The Vine, yeah. Classic. Cl tell these people how monumental Vine was, bro, like, Vine and what it did Vine. for our careers. I think it really set us up to learn how to, like, shoot our own content, write right. our own content. Right. You know what I mean? Edit our own content. Right. I think it really, like, sparked the creative side of us. I feel like without Vine, I don't think a lot of us would be right here. You know I say what I mean? that too. I say that too. Nah, real shit. We wouldn't real be doing this. We had a we had a space where it was uh, 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 for people who had a lot of time on their hands, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of creatives. Let me ask you who this. Had a lot of times mm -hmm. on their hands. Let me ask both of y'all this because y'all both found success on that app. Now that the app is gone away, what what was the what was the secret to finding that moment in that six seconds? For real. What, what, what was the what was the key to that algorithm? How you crack that code? You get six seconds to make this shit good, and y'all dropping hit after hit after hit. Motherfucker dropping 20, 30, 40 vines a day. I, I don't. I, don't, I, I remember. Yeah, I'm talking about the first time before they went to the 15. I'm definitely saying. I'm definitely definitely say. I grew up. I grew up in an era where TV wasn't accessible. Cable wasn't accessible. So when we got access to Wi-Fi and the internet, we had a certain space where this was our TV. Mm -hmm. For people who would just be, I didn't even know people was on their phones like that until I was introduced to it. And then once I realized, oh, they ain't seen nothing like this before. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember when I was like, I'm about to show a roach. Yep. My partner was like, what? That can, that can hurt your career. I'm like, nigga, what career, nigga? I'm right. broke. Exactly. This shit gonna either help or nigga help. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna hurt. I'm mm -hmm. fucked up already. Now, bro, <laughs> yep, yep. I remember. I, I remember seeing that when you was like up. singing to the roaches and shit. And I was grabbing them, <laughs> holding them, and it was the point that people this, was like, like, "This nigga here, yeah, crazy." Yeah. I just seen my one of my when I first seen this nigga in the iPhone store in the Apple store. And that nigga yelled out, I want me an iPhone with an Android screen. But see, so it won't crack on me. And everybody was and everybody nervous. Everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah. But see, <laughs> this is but this is why I don't get mad. Hold up, I gotta creative. tell you one of my favorite DC <laughs> vines, though. What that nigga said, yeah, let me get some noodles. Let me get some of that. Some of that root root. <laughs> Listen, before I walked in there, right, I was like, bro. <laughs> Them my people though. Yeah. I grew up off that spot yeah, like yeah, yeah. Prince of Baby. And I was like, they not gonna get mad at me for yeah. saying this. But when I did it, and I was like, hey, let me get some of that. Yeah. They, they were laughing. They were like, so you, you want some of this little job? I was like, yeah, but they didn't know that I was, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. creating a, 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 a space for myself. But to, to, to pick it back up on what you can't, what, what we was talking about, it was like, nobody never seen this before. And 
it was either what we was representing everybody's state. You got to mm -hmm. think about it. When I was doing Vine, I was representing Georgia. Yeah. So I just wasn't doing Vine, bro. It was like Vine, when soon as you got popping on Vine, you was the head of your state, or mm -hmm. that's how niggas know you. Hey, boy, you got that Georgia boy? Mm -hmm. That nigga from South Carolina? Yeah. Oh, you following that nigga from Philly? Oh, man, you got to. So it was like I, I was a spokesperson for Georgia. I was speaking for all the hoods and in Georgia, and then it just starts speaking for all the hoods around the world. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And once Vines kind of like faded, nobody was on Instagram. Oh, look, yeah. what, what was the trick? What you say? What was the uh, trick for you finding that little, that like finding that pocket? You know what I'm saying? Oh, on Vine, yeah, that six second thing. You know, the fit. They went to 15. That later on. Right? Mm -hmm. I think it was really my boy Splack. He introduced mm -hmm. me to the Vine. Splack, an OG on that. Yeah, team. yeah. Like I was telling him every day. I'm like, bro, I, I came out here to dance. I ain't trying to do no Vine videos, but then I seen him going viral on Facebook. All the aunties, it was like 10 million views. I called them stars going crazy. I was like, bro, I got to do the Vines. And then from there, I just started doing Vines. And people was like, oh, you can really act. And then from there, I started taking acting classes. So what would you, That's what how both, I found this is a question for both of y'all. What would you say was the one that, that was the first one that you saw and was like, what the fuck? That one that made, when you looked at them numbers and saw them numbers crazy, what was mm. that video for y'all, for both of y'all? Mine was, I was on tour with uh, Seven Streeter. And mm. I did this video in a row. And I was like, you can't look and smell this. And I put my leg on the chair and I fake fell and hit my head. Mm. That shit went viral. That's crazy. And I was, I was about to quit the tour. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to get paid. I was about to get paid. I'm out, I'm out, out here. Hey, but that shit do not that work. That shit ain't do nothing. That shit ain't do nothing. That was the one that broke through yeah. for you. Man, I just kept doing stupid shit. It just felt like them folk love stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was really surprised. Every time mm -hmm. I did some shit, I was just like, Y'all like that shit? Oh, I got plenty more of this Easy. shit. That's why when I did that shit in the in the, in the store, I, I won't get mad at the creators when they do shit, right? My shit just ain't never harm nobody physically. Mm -hmm. It was just outbursts and doing like crazy shit. Like, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, it was yeah. an element of surprise. But it was just like, I kept being fascinated with the shit because this was the same shit I used to get in trouble for. Mm -hmm. And they was gravitating to it. And I used to, and it kind of like sheltered me a little bit because it was like, I. I keep getting placed over here with the bad kids just by me having like outbursts and doing like little slit shit. But my peers love it. And if they cool with it, why the teaching them keep tripping on me about mm -hmm. this shit? So I keep getting in trouble. So it was like, all right, I'm just not going to be like funny nigga for real. I'm only going to be funny with my peers. Mm -hmm. But when the vine kicked out, it opened that, that rim up. I was mm -hmm. like, man, fuck my teachers. Fuck all them bitches. Yeah. Nigga, this the same shit that I got suspended out of school for and all this shit. Nigga yelling at the store. I used to do that shit on school field trips, nigga. Easy, yeah. On the bus. Be behind this bus driver. Boy, where you going? He about to make Who the <laughs> hell is this? I don't know why I just did that. Shit that shit was just bro. fun, It was just though. fun. It's fun, yeah, I got it you. It was fun, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. If I gave us a space to live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Exactly. What exactly. would you say, Woody? What would you say, like, once you started taking acting classes, like, what would you say that that clicked for you? You know what I mean? Now you take you said, it serious. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, when you said, what, what was that moment for you where you was like, oh, wait a minute, man. I, I Were you impressed yourself? When I got a new edition. For real? That was the one. Yeah, that was the one. For real, yeah. That was the one, yeah. That was the first one, right? That was the first one, yeah. For real? Yeah. yeah. But y'all did a no, not a good ass job. Y'all did a fantastic job with that, bro. Yeah. That's probably hand down like one of the big biopics. Yeah. Appreciate you know, like that, a long time. And what's crazy is when you actually, I've had the opportunity to actually meet the guys, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. be around them and to see how well y'all portrayed the dynamic and all that. Mm -hmm. Like did y'all have, how long did y'all have to hang with them niggas to pick that up? Man, we really hang with the crew. We, we was like with each other for like, I want to say a month. Like just spending the night at uh, Elijah crib, we will spend the night at Keith crib. It was like a real sleepover, just getting to know each other. That's why it was so easy when it came to filming. Okay, you know what I mean. But the guys, like the real guys, was on set. I don't think we knew how big they was back then. Like I didn't know nothing about Bobby Brown like that. Oh, really? Yeah, That's like. Crazy. But when I seen the clip though, was that nigga. I was dancing at the time, and then mm -hmm. Fatima Robinson called me in to be the dance double for the Bobby Brown for the Whitney Houston movie. Uh -huh. uh, Angela Bassett directed that on Lifetime. Yeah, uh -huh. so I was uh -huh. his his like dance double for that, and then from there, Fatima was like, "You should get into acting." Like, you know what I mean? Angela Bassett came on stage, like, "Nigga, who is you?" I was like, I "Dance." She was like, "You should really get into it." So then from there, yeah, once so the new Angela edition, Bassett yeah, you, you oh, gotta yeah. do it, got to. And then from there, that's when they called Fatima and was like, "Yo, we doing the new edition story. You should choreograph." And then she hit me and was like, "Yo, I think I found the, the Bobby Brown. What do you should do it?" 
I ain't never really want to do Bobby first because I ain't want people to just keep calling me Bobby. I was like, ah, I want to act, but I don't want it to be somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, you did great yeah. because you didn't get typecast as just a nigga who played a biopic. Like, right, right, right. Actually that shit might have worked. Does Blue Chew work? If you asking that question, we want you to know that Blue Chew is putting their money where their mouth is by giving you a month free. That's right. Blue Chew is an online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, NCLS, and Levitra but at a fraction of the cost in a chewable form. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you approve, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and shipped direct to your door. And it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free. When you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout, just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH. And our friends at Blue Chew, we have something exciting coming soon. It's an exclusive, very limited edition merch collab with none other than the Anti-Social Club. Guys, they gave me a sneak peek, and these designs go hard, man. Look, they're going on sale October 12th at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific. You know, they will sell out, so mark your calendars. Go to antisocialclub.com and sign up now. And be the first one to snag one of these incredible designs. Man, check this out. <laughs> Got mine. Get yours. If you ever want to see a woman who just fine as hell, where we gotta go? Houston. Texas. Yes, indeed. Houston, well, in Texas. that case, October 20th, we're gonna see if he's telling the truth. Cause H time. Where we going? It's going down. Going down. We're coming down. Going down. H time. Go away. It's Splash City. You get you did. And going listen. Down. Listen. Going down, just like the light went out. Going, ah! I said the light went out. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're not on really rap, man. I said the light went out. Cause you're trying to make this this a fail. It's going down. We're going to Ace Town. It's like going down. Shit! Yeah. In the Ace Town. This nigga's trying to blind niggas. I gotta call Slim Thug. Paul Wall, Lil Kiki, Lil Flip. Paul Wall, Trey, Trey, Trey the Truth, and Paul Wall. Hey, we don't even have to call Trey, he just know. Yeah, he just know. He just Trey know. Won't be like, yeah, man, we gotta come down, man, get y'all, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> he put it up. Going down to Nate's town, man, yeah, already. Ace town. No cap. October 20th. Energy Arena. Yeah. NRG. That's what we bring in the NRG. Fuck you talking about. Is that what this Going said, down. Fuck? Yeah, energy. NRG, we bringing the energy, H time, October 20th, it's going down, we coming, coming down. I'm coming down, I'm in a slab. You did, H time. 80 foes and bows. October 20th, get your tickets. See, that, your shit, that shit matters. Yeah. In yeah. this world, they be like, that's all they shit see. Like, yeah. That shit might have worked in your favor though, because you ain't so, really man. have no, you ain't have nothing to like mold it yeah. off of. You yeah. can kind of build the character. Ain't nobody know who I was. It was you like, get what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a that's panic attack though. That's what made it though. dope, because it's like, Chico talk about it all the time. This nigga was famous, famous when you didn't have access to mm -hmm. motherfuckers. And so. nobody has done it great for real, mm -hmm. like to portray him for real. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. more so like, and th th who Bobby Brown was, like nigga, whoever gonna play him need to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that shit was good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Man, I do appreciate it. that, bro. Bullshit, nigga. I you appreciate great. that, bro. Yeah. You, you did brought people back. Yeah, like, they yeah. were like, they gonna die this. They yeah. like, that's Bobby Brown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but when they first, when they first made the announcement, they was like, who this? Because they had a picture of me with a bow tie. Right. Playing Bobby. It was like, oh, Bobby Brown is Woody. I had like a bow tie with a corny smile. It was like, this nigga don't look like Bobby Brown. He look like B.O.B. That's all everybody was saying. Wow. That's crazy. So when I cannot up, not yeah, see that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see that no more, man. It was like, 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 like, that's all I kept seeing. I was like, damn. Damn. I was like, damn. But then when I did it, they was like, now everybody like, you look exactly like Bobby Brown. I was like, bro, but back then, y'all said I look like Keenan. Kel Mitchell, like what's going on? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out, like how, how does it work? But you said you was, you, you almost had a panic attack. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, break, break, break that down. So, so our producer, he let us see the first episode. Okay. So we seen the kids, and we all know how like great the kids was. And right. young Bobby Tyler, shout out to Tyler. Tyler played Bobby like as the kid, and he did so good, bro. And when I seen, I hit my acting coach. I'm like, yo, the kid's so good. I feel like I'm. I'm, I'm not as good as him. I think people are gonna think I'm trash. She was like, you gotta relax. I just kept, I couldn't breathe. I ended up passing out. 
And then once the thing actually came oh, out, and nigga, I passed out in my room, my hotel room. You was who really the fuck, Who the Brown. fuck found you? Nigga, I woke up the next morning. <laughs> it was Bobby. I think it was Bobby Brown for real. <laughs> there ain't no hot people. Nah, right? The right the nigga, I had a panic attack, bro. Nigga said he woke up the next morning. <laughs> the next morning, Why bro. are you stressing yourself? Out, young nigga. Bro, I mean, you I, understand I try to, it, I try don't to fly. We all gonna do you that, You know what I mean? Man. Everything we do, it got to be, like, perfect. Right. You know what I mean? This being the first one. Then when the comments started coming, and people was like, yo, oh, this Woody kid is dope. He Bobby Brown. Then for me, I was like, yeah, I'm that nigga. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, they Bobby like, you know, yeah, I, I knew I was going. Stop oh, fucking passing out, yeah. nigga. Stop passing nah, out, nigga. Nah, I don't do that no more. I don't even read comments no more. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, shit, that shit is not real. Yeah, But, like, you know what I mean? The 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 acting and being able to transition like what you do on power, right? I mean, mm -hmm. and then the role that you took in that regard, becoming just straight, you know, gangster with it. Like, do you have certain elements that you can go back to to tap into the mojo for any character, or do you just go off and when they give it to you now, I'm gonna go find somebody or something to kind of help me become what it is I need to become? Mm. I think I, that's a, man, that's a good question, bro. I don't know what I be doing, bro. I feel like when you walk in your purpose, you just you just doing that, walking in your purpose. So I don't really overthink that part. Okay. You know, and whatever character it is, I read it. You know what I mean? I, I'll study it. But then from there, once I get on set, I'm just... You go for what you know. Yeah, I ain't that's overthinking that's it. I'm just being a vessel at that point. You know what I mean? I let, you got it. I let the Lord bring whatever it is. and I, and I, I You got a clip that's going crazy right now. Bro, what, what's the show you play the cop? I did a movie, Desperation Road, with uh, Garrett Hutland and Mel Gibson. I played the sheriff in that one. Yeah. On Twitter, they done made the little, I guess the, what's the little shit? The GIF? Yeah, uh-huh. And you on there. I, I'm high. I was just thinking. Switch one mic out. Come on, man. Fight on me. Am I tripping? Are you going to send the bell for big uh, nigga now? Uh, <laughs> on my hey. mama. Oh, oh my hood. This is I your back. Fly. I look to you. This is your back. <laughs> mm. Hey, y'all remember that show, uh, Big Band, the Big Blue House? Welcome back to the 85 oh, South Show. Uh, if your back uh, look uh, anything uh, like this, call me. Because uh, I can big get your back back. <laughs> All right, everybody. Like, <laughs> I can get your back back. No. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I'm like, this. I got this big. <laughs> Fucking hip hop. Yeah, switch the whole shit out. He broke. Yeah, no, no, no. He broke. Well, give me the receipt. He got money. We're gonna charge him. We're gonna charge him for it. Woody broke our mic. Nah, cheers, cheers. Right up the invoice. <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. We back. We we are inside the Black Actor Studio today. We asked the number. Yeah. Uh, Educated question. So, Woody, <laughs> okay. in your portrayal of I, Bobby Brown. Now, talk this shit, right? <laughs> now look, because I know <laughs> we all go through it. You done read the script. Mm -hmm. You done did an audition. Mm -hmm. You ain't get the role. Mm -hmm. But then you see some shit on TV or one of these platforms, and then you remember the lines. And this nigga saying it. <laughs> has, has it been a role that you... Did you like audition for? Did you see see yeah. somebody else get it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It don't bother me though. And then that should be crazy. Nah, yeah. You like, oh, this is who they fit. Yeah, yeah. Up, but it work out though. When I'm watching it though, I'm like, yeah, right, I see, fit. I see why they pick me. Don't no care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I would have did it differently. <laughs> I'll do that. I get that. Yeah. Have, I, you I, ever, I, have you ever got a a role that that you read and and didn't quite get, and then it ended up, you know, saying no to it, and then it came out and being something that was successful? Nah. They ain't been to that and you ain't got there yet? Nah. I thought he was going to fuck you up. He was like, yeah, I was almost Spider-Man. Nah, <laughs> yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be crazy. Because the Black of, Man was a cartoon. Yeah. 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 A lot of uh, uh, actors say that. Like, like when, you hear, really. when you hear what, <laughs> yeah. what roles was meant for nah. certain people, like, when, like for example, Will Smith was supposed to be Neo in The Matrix. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, Those yeah. type of situations. Nah, ain't you ain't got there yet. Oh, okay. Nah, not yet. Soon it's gonna dope. happen. Yeah, Soon it's gonna dope. happen. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because you Will Smith got supposed to be Neo in the Matrix. Neo. Yeah. yeah. In the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> uh. My, uh, Eddie Murphy was supposed to be Mike Lowry. I heard that. Oh yeah. Uh, so I heard you that. know what I'm saying? Like just getting to the point of, you know, where you have to turn down roles. Like, do you <laughs> have anything that you like? Uh, I'm not doing that. Don't even send me that. Or you just open to whatever. Man, I'm open, bro. For real. I leave it open, yeah. 
which for me is gonna be dope. Anything right. I've ever been a part of has been dope. Like, you know, and that ain't no like ego. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, you you popping your shit, nigga. Yeah. Pop your shit, nigga. You one of them niggas, nigga. Nah. Pop it, nigga. <laughs> nah, I remember, I remember Wood Harris. We was on set, and then we went up to uh, Wood Harris, and we was like, yo, what you think about the new edition joint? And he sat there. He was like, all I make is classics, and walked away, and we started screaming. I was like, that's hard, because Wood Harris do, all he do is classics. All he do is classics. Him and Leon. Easy. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Leon and been in everything, bro. Leon was a temptation and a foul heart. Easy. Fact. Easy. Fact. <laughs> Classic, Fact. bro. And he was the, the new nigga, head nigga. <laughs> yeah. They came and took over the whole group. Mm -hmm. Man, Leon, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's certain bro. black actors. Yeah, what you know what cold, like, man. So, so go ahead, Flack. Go, go ahead. Oh, what's a role that you want to play? Because when you say the Spider-Man game, Ooh. I can see that. Mm. I can see that. Cause they gave the nigga a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Spider Man, had, Mexican now. It's, man, fuck that. They got, they got one they for every race. Nine white boys to play Spider Man, and when it's the nigga turn, you go digital, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. could have went digital on the second nigga. Yeah. We yeah, both yeah. wanted yeah. to play Spider Man. <laughs> I can see that now. <laughs> what the fuck? I can nah, just see you getting shot. Going crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, I'm telling you, I see it. I see it. Nah, I'll do, I'll do Green Lantern. I'll do Green Lantern. Ooh. You are, I want to say Jace Fox. Uh, so, you know, Morgan Freeman and, and Batman. Mm hmm. Like, he was playing like Alfred. Was he playing yeah. Alfred? Like, yeah, but nah, but the, the, I his, can't his think of his name. His was like yeah. something else, but his mm -hmm. son. He like a villain. No, no, no. So like, why is he Batman and stuff? Batman out in the street. His son was coming in, taking Batman stuff and doing his own thing with it. Mm. I think his name is I don't even think Batman a real superhero. You don't think so? Uh, -uh he's just a rich nigga with gadgets. On bullshit. <laughs> I mean, he just, his house underground. Like, I mean, yeah, the girl, when you can whoop, he on waterfall. Yeah. Like, no, like, when you can be living like that, man. And shit, yeah. you a real superhero. You fuck around. Yeah, when you what? Yeah. Fuck around and be I mean, for real. That nigga, that man, Elon he, Musk, might might be. He, he, he you built all yeah, that he, shit. Like, he might be. You got he might, the look, zip said, lining. Batman was the first nigga zip lining. They say mm -hmm. Elon <laughs> Musk on like. <laughs> Like, I don't know how many satellites. They don't like 70% of them. 70% of these satellites in the sky. You know what you can be as far as a superhero with that type of mm -hmm. accent? He owns like 70% of the of sky. The, satellite, the satellites oh. in the sky, bro. Damn. So that's some Batman type shit. Like, that's the type of, type of money in that. that. That's money. the money. That don't, that, that, you don't even count that type of money. That I ain't even money. I remember I saw a meme where they had like Jeff Bezos' uh, wealth in rice. Like actual rice, where each grain of rice was a hundred thousand dollars, bro. Jeff Bezos' rice stack was like this high. <laughs> Insane. The nigga rice stack was this high that motherfucker pulled off seventeen pieces of rice. It was like, yeah, this is a Lamborghini. This is how much he still had left. It was ridiculous, bro. When you put it in that type of perspective, what do you do when you uh, accumulate all that type of money? No, we'll never know as niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was about to say so. Nah, I said nah, in my head that shit was it. funny as hell. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna I, say I'm it. telling you, I already wrote the number down and put it in the safe. If I ever get to this number, you will never see me again. Go to this bill. Shit. Go to the club in my butt. No. Nope. Gonna turn, gonna start, 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 start. It don't matter. Gonna it don't matter the where the time. fuck I go. The next time you see me, I'm gonna have a beard between my motherfucking legs. Yeah. You gonna be Sammy Sosa. Nigga, I'm going so far <laughs> underground. He gonna unzip himself. It's been me the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, fire, fire. Yeah. So hot in this bitch. Same <laughs> color <laughs> Subway <laughs> turkey meat. Same <laughs> color Subway turkey meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't so, know, bro. I think I, I won't want to play a villain. I just want to play like a charismatic. Yeah. Like, like you know. Like a mask or something. Yeah, like just a rebellion ass nigga. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Man, when you play the okay. villain, though, you can just do whatever. Yeah, that's fun, what I'm saying. Bro. You got you free fun. range. Yeah. Cause then you already a piece of shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. It's like, now I get to live out being a piece of shit. Exactly. <laughs> People uh, love that. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to do it, like, in a creative way. Right. Like, the Joker, this motherfucker, this character be brilliant than a motherfucker. Man, the Joker was so diabolical in the dark night. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This you motherfucker blew up a hospital, yeah. man. Tell I don't want to tap into nothing that's evil. <laughs> Cause you, gotta, you got to really, <laughs> okay. as an actor, you got to like, you know what I'm saying? It's more so like the enemies was always a good guy. He just getting back at people he felt like they did wrong. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, fuck you niggas. Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a start the fight. I ain't no bad nigga, but mm -hmm. man, I've been holding this shit in for a minute. I want to whoop somebody ass. Easy. 
Yeah. You feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. I'm on the same way. Yeah, I just I look at some of those roles and I'd be like, man, that's crazy how you which what mind state you had to get in to even become like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Mm -hmm. Like to be able to become that and then they say cut and you gotta go back to being who you are. Like that's crazy. Nigga, Jim Carrey mm -hmm. played the, the, the crazy white man the whole the time. The whole time. He that's, made that's them folks. He was in the, his his trailer, right? He was just laying down. They were like, Jim. He was like, Jim is not in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, they were like, you're an hour late, Jim. He was like, I'm not coming. They had to pick this nigga up call and him carry Andy, right? him. I'll, I'll call, call you in seven. seven. We're going to be down the street from your house. Yeah, so Charlotte, it is. North Carolina, like talk, Queen City. Hometown. It's going down. No, it's not. But it feel like it is sometimes. Right. It's right. going to be our hometown October 27th. Because we going like to the boat. Because wow. every time you meet some class, you're like, Oh, yep. I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. <laughs> but I definitely know October 27th. Boy, 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 with the red, get your chicken strips and your bow no, very Come, Come on, on and raise up. Take, take your shit off. When we ride right away, sticking like a helicopter. We, we, will, get up. we will not be playing that. <laughs> be the poor motherfucker. First one pulling the North Carolina better work. That better work. We ain't playing that at all, I promise. But we might play Fantasia when I see you. October 27th. Oh, Get your ticket. October 27th. Okay. You don't want to miss it. Uh, you all the brain, y'all. <laughs> Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got, you feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right, that's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com, and I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is gonna really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. You need October 26th. 26. Going Greenville. Greenville, South Carolina. No, it's happening. Yeah, Greenville. Yeah. Going. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Get your green together in the Ville to come see us in on South October 26th. No South care. Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. October 26th. 85 King. South Show. DC Young Fly. Huh? Carlos Miller. Hey, who? The one with the braids and the ball on the side. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. Get your tickets. No cap. You did. Get there early. Because if we run out of seats, you're going to have to sit on Chico Head. That's a lot of room, though. We yeah. said some more tickets. Yeah, hey, man, fuck both of y'all. All right, fuck it. But get your tickets. Fuck it. Just set, because he was yeah. in character, yeah. bro. He was an hour late mm -hmm. on set. He's there and would not walk. They had to carry him on set. Uh, See, they can do that. We can't do that yeah, shit. Yeah, no, nah, it's done. Get the yeah, other yeah, nigga right this nigga out of here. Yeah, we done. Let me tap your ass. Hey, Chico, this nigga already dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ain't got that luxury. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hey, you ain't even seen him. You yeah. ain't even dressed the whole time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you manage that? What are you like? The, the different personalities on the set. Like, you know what I mean? That's what a lot of people don't understand. When you work on these sets, there's so many different personalities. How do you, you know what I mean, navigate that? You know what I'm saying? Being yourself while also being somebody else as far as your character and still keeping you, you, you know what I mean? Man, I be having fun. For real? This shit like when we was kids playing make believe. So it's like that for me. You okay. know what I mean? You start doing shit around the house as a kid, having fun until mama smack you, then you be back to normal. Okay. So it's like the same for me. You know what I mean? You make a nigga like smack you on yeah, set. I'm, I'm Cut. back to normal. <laughs> Not bad of me, Woody. Don't slap me. I'm already here. <laughs> Is this in here? It's not in here. Right. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, you do that shit now. Nah, I really, I really like to uh, create a backstory for the character. Dope. Like with Kane right now, it was like, I knew I was gonna have to hate Tariq for all these years. I'm like, how am I gonna hate this nigga for four years? So I had to like sit down and figure out like what's gonna work for Kane. So I was able to go back and create this story of like when Kane was a kid, like he was getting molested, right? Cause we, that happens in the black community, but we don't really talk about it. We kind of, shit just happened and we don't really talk about it. But the only person that was there to save him was his mama. 
That's why he's such a mama's boy. You get what I'm saying? And he don't remember what the, the dude looked like, but he remember what he smelled like. You know what I mean? He smelled exactly like Tariq. So that's why I hate him so much. That was like, that's what I had to have in my head yeah. every time I go to set. What's so crazy is when, when he came and did Wild and Out, we was, he was nervous and shit. So I was like, man, you know, everybody act like they don't like you. I'm just going, we just going to have a beef on the show. Now, you know how niggas really thought I didn't like this yeah. nigga, bro? <laughs> like, it's to this day that you're like, bro, man, you know his daddy a gangster, man. You better stop playing with yeah. him. I'm yeah. like, bro, we was playing. Bro, like, it was fun, yeah. Like, yeah. Job of making that nigga look like I'm lying. Nah, Michael Hard. Michael Dope. Told the nigga he gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, whoop your ass. <laughs> bro, we be having yeah, fun, bro. But like, you, you you being around all of these legendary guys, what what would you say that you got the best advice from? Some of the best advice from in regard. You said Tank. I mean, on the music side, you Angela Bassett. I think Kevin Hart. Word. I remember um, I was doing something on his Laugh Out Loud network called Stories with Kev. I used to take his stand up and kind of recreate it and like play out the scenes in like black and white. And I remember him pulling up on me. He was like the only person that can kick, like destroy your career is you. So like that just always stuck in my head. So every time I'm doing like different business meetings, I'm always thinking like, all right, cool. I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to be the, the, the reason, reason why this doesn't work. So I'm always having that in my head. You know what I mean? Who you want to work with like that you think could could challenge you in a way. Cause one thing about, hold up, get y'all self together. Yeah, huh? yeah. What's wrong with y'all? Baby uh, line. I'm telling you, when act, acting is such a fun uh, 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 profession, especially when you get around people that can challenge you to yeah. make you better. See, a lot of people think like, it's not an arrogance when motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm a great actor. No, you have to have that confidence knowing that you're a great actor, but yeah. put me around some better actors mm -hmm. that can even make me even be greater. And I can challenge them as well yeah. to them for them to continue to keep bringing you that A game. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to see yourself in the scene with that you feel like can challenge you and you can challenge them? Because mm. as an actor, we always want to be in that yeah. best scene yeah. where we're like, oh, I know you're going to bring that shit Yeah, out. Viola Davis. Woo! Uh, Eddie Murphy. Okay. Don Cheetah. Oh, he hard. Dog. Nigga, you seen Crash? Earl the Gold Man. Crash. Crash is my favorite. Hey, Devil hard. in the Blue Dragon. Don Cheeto, my hard. nigga. Don Cheeto, one of them ones. He man. slept. I feel like a lot of people don't give him his. People don't his flowers. And he don't he even hard. care for it. Yeah, nah, he don't. Like, he man. let that shit show in his work, bro. Yeah. You know, it's certain characters, man. Certain people do. Like, my favorite movie character ever just was played by Samuel Jackson, Odell Roby, and Jack, Jackie Brown. Like, that nigga and Jackie Brown, like, if there was. I can audition to be that nigga today and know the whole movie, mm. every line he had, but just because it was like watching a real nigga. Like yeah. that's the thing about when you somebody is a great actor, it's like you become that person mm -hmm. to where when you see him, if that nigga walked in here with that wig on, I'd be like, oh, they'll fuck yeah. Samuel. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. Ordeal Roby. That's right. Mm -hmm. You said that mm -hmm. now. All right. Oh shit. We own we, we own something now. What's your favorite actor or actress in the scene where you like, oh, that shit fine? He went crazy. If you could redo one, crazy. if you could redo any redo scene, one. classic scene, that you would kill. That I'll kill? <laughs> uh, Denzel Training Day. Oh, everybody do that shit. I, I love, know, that. Right? I love, I love that. that shit. But it's like, that's the ultimate, like, yeah, if you yeah. can't top this, yeah. you ain't ready. Yeah. You ain't ready. <laughs> uh, true love. I know you got a good one, yeah, you, yeah. you got yeah. I know this nigga got a good one, What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, I'll I tell you every line OG Bobby Johnson had. <laughs> For real? Every OG last Bobby one of them. Yeah. <laughs> he got your son out there still in car. What? <laughs> Jimmy's only 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't ask no questions. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Y'all gonna think I'm wrong for this. But I'm not wrong. I just sit and watch and I study. This shit was good. I even said it. Because he made me say it. I was like, damn, this shit good. Cuba Gooden Jr. don't get a lot of credit. For radio, okay, for radio, yes. radio, hard, hard. radio, nigga. Hard. I felt sorry for that nigga, man. Yeah. Like, when they locked that nigga, when they locked that nigga up, I was like, bro, that's, bro, they, I can't put a nigga like that in the front of the police car. Uh, how you do a nigga like that, bro? Bro. He like, where you get that radio? He like, 
they put that nigga in the back of a police car, bro. <laughs> hey, he, hey, but man. he, they did that nigga did that, bro. He called too. Get him yeah. credit, bro. Yeah. You said who? He, he called he, too. Yeah. He, he was calling yeah. Jerry yeah. Maguire. He, he, yeah, Jerry oh. Maguire, for real. But like, man, that's that scene just and Jackie Brown. I don't know if y'all ever seen Jackie Brown, bro. But if you have it, you gotta watch it, man. Like, here's the scene with him and Robert De Niro, who is another one of the greatest actors mm-hmm. to ever live. Mm-hmm. And he, they going through a video of guns, and this nigga explaining the guns to him, and they get to the AK-47. That nigga said, duh, duh, duh. there it is, AK-47. The very best there is when you absolutely, positively got to kill every motherfucker in the room <laughs> except no substitute. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to I'm like, man, this nigga That's is hard. incredible, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the way this shit come on, like, it just make it seem like these were some real people. I remember mm-hmm. watching that shit as a young nigga, like, oh my God. Like these it's just certain movies. Like my favorite movie ever is The Last Dragon. Okay. Mm-hmm. But but just watching that time in 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 cinema, if you that's will. Your favorite movie? That's my favorite movie ever, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I used to watch that. That was my babysitter. My mama could put that shit on and leave for hours, sit, and I sit and just keep rewinding and keep rewinding. What's your favorite movie? Wait, wait, what's 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 the difference between the movies back then and the movies now? Well, to, to me back then, I think the messaging was a little bit deeper for us as black people okay. because we didn't get to make as many movies back then. Mm-hmm. Like the Last Dragon, really. To me, it, it got the the message for all black men in it. Like they use karate as the synopsis for it, but the reality is, nigga, you got the glow. It's mm. in you. It's already in you. Can't nobody yeah. take it from you. You already got it. You just gotta look within and get it. And that's why at the end of the movie, when that nigga was dunking his head down mm-hmm. in the water, he remembering all the shit that went and nobody else was there but him. And he all and then when he came back up, who's the master? I am. Cause I got the glow, nigga. It's already in you. We already got everything got that we need. God give it to you already. You just gotta oh. tap into it. Yeah. You gotta find it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just what it is. Like, and I think yeah. that message. Man, that message was hit deep as a, even as a kid. Yeah, bro, you yeah. can't get nowhere being a hater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure enough, really ain't had nothing but hate. For, like, he was just hating on this nigga for no reason, bro. Yeah. That nigga was hating because they was balling. That nigga was hating because he had real curly hair and his daddy had a balling ass piece of shop. Yeah. His little brother had juice in the city, could do everything. Yeah. And this nigga just riding around looking for this nigga. Like, yeah, all who day. is this nigga? <laughs> 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 bullets yeah. with his teeth. Man. <laughs> just hate hate bullets bro. with his bro. teeth. Man. <laughs> hey, man. He was going out his way to hate. <laughs> I, I always see it. like think of like, like when I hear some shit, it just like it'll stick and apply to multiple situations. I remember when they, when like Max B first got mad at the, you know what I'm saying? When he first fell out, that nigga came on World Star and was like, "See, that's all they try to do is make a nigga don't look good." That's all they want you to be in the back. They don't want a nigga to look good. When you a wavy nigga, niggas ain't gonna like that shit. And I was like, that shit mean so much. Right. Yeah. Because you can apply that to any situation. Yeah. Like, that's just one of them life lessons that, you know, just being exposed to different, like, outlets and shit like that, just how you pick up on certain shit. Mm -hmm. But that that Last Dragon, I remember watching that shit as a kid, and I was just like, the first time I seen that shit, that's what really stuck out. Like, that nigga just hate that nigga for nothing. Because that nigga ain't fuck with nobody. All he did was practice his karate. He ain't want no pussy. He treated that lady with respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, he wouldn't even, he like, he knew he wasn't even where he was supposed to be as the last dragon. He wasn't even out there, like, flexing on nigga. He let so much shit slide, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. The nigga was in the motherfucking movie theater. The nigga throwing punches at his face. He... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga daddy thought he was weird. Junior? Yeah. Yeah, Junior. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But like those, like those, those movies. Hold on, yeah. I gotta tell you this one. You said Samuel L. Jackson or mm-hmm. Del Robin. I think his most underrated role ever is when he played Kane Daddy Tat in Menace to Society. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You remember yeah. that shit? Yeah. And they didn't even really show this nigga face. Yeah. Kill that motherfucking scene, man. Because if you go back and look at it, the nigga owed him some money. Like, he just really owed him. Yeah, he like, but he was like, man. I giving you that motherfucking money. Nigga told that I told you I'd pay, told you you when I pay. I your monk ass and I feel like it. He said, what? Suck my dick. Yeah. That shit suck. Suck what? <laughs> you owe me some money, motherfucker. Hell, Hell no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. no. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just, hey, just, classic, just those, bro. Tap, 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 what the fuck, oh, man? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like those type of classic roles for us. And it's crazy that as bl as black people, we all had those scenes burned in our mind. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you think about just the, the classic movies that, you know what I mean, you could watch now and still have the same type of reaction that you had watching it when you originally watched it, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like, and shit, you you played Bobby Brown. Like, one of my favorite roles, that, that Bobby Brown is an incredible actor, mm -hmm. bro. Like, him and uh, uh, um, Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Fine. Like, bro, that's one of my, that nigga was so cool yeah, in Thin Line lit. Between Love and Hate. With that yeah. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hard, bro. Yeah. He was hard as hell to that mm -hmm. shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, so you being an actor now and kind of being a new generation, like, do you have the desire to have that staple? I mean, you already do, but like the one that people gonna look back on and and, and say, man, couldn't nobody have done that but you. Like mm, really? that role that, you know what I mean, that you like, man. Do you look at it as a situation where, you know, you you kind of can have that and then be stuck in it, like you said, but then you also can do it and then it just be one of those, like, you're, you're Malcolm X for Denzel or, you know what I'm saying, your Pulp Fiction for Samuel Jackson or whichever that type of role is. Like, do you desire to have that type of staple role or do you just want to just do as much as you can and just build a legacy of just quantity, you know what I'm saying? Man, I just want to keep going down my path. Yeah. I can't put that much pressure on me. Right. You know what I mean? I can't be like, dang, I need to get a training day. Right. I can't do that. It's gonna be too much pressure. Everybody so I just kinda let I just kinda let things happen. Yeah, that's you dope. know what I mean? Dope like perspective. I don't force nothing. Every role is I don't force no situation, bro. When it happened for me, it happened. You gotta speak them uh, two lines like you got old a monologue in that easy. motherfucker. What? Easy. Cause we remember the times when we ain't have it, bro. Yeah. yeah. Remember the times when we ain't have it. And people don't understand those acting roles don't come like back to back to mm -hmm. back. <laughs> Once you go on a spree, you got to take that spree mm -hmm. and show them folk how valuable you, you is. So to, now they got to roll, right? Now, gotta show you got to you got to go with the spree, but then that creates a space where they trust your your creativity. Mm -hmm. Now when you come to them with some shit, they are they more so know what you are already capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So they not gonna second guess. Like, all right, well let's try it out. When you don't have enough punches in the game and experience, if you come with them with some shit, it's hard selling mm -hmm. some shit. You gotta go get get out there and get some some raps. Gotcha. You gotta rap it how, out. how was it for you when you got the call for Bobby Brown? You know what? You played I, the barber. I played yeah, the barber. I was yeah. excited. I was excited because I was like, you know what? I'm amongst my peers mm -hmm. and we're doing this together. Yep. You feel me? Like the movie was so great that nigga, we had to watch it for three days. Mm -hmm. That nigga is mm -hmm. the nigga that invented the gummy. You feel me? Yeah. 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 He's there want to look at some hoes. We all looking at the hoes. Yeah. Like, the whole shit. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you, well, you don't even know we getting that shit cut like that on purpose. Yeah. 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 Where's yeah. Bobby Brown? You know what I'm saying? Nigga shit be like this. You did the new edition thing and then boom. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so just being that great to be able to say, mother, now nah, we want to see some more of this nigga right here. Like, Slim right. got it. You know what I mean? You got it. So, you, like, I, I watch, yeah. you know, the young niggas, the, the, you, you know, the you, the, the, you know, everybody. And I think to myself, like, man, I hope that we give the youngins the same grace that we gave the OGs and let mm. them be free oh, for to sure. create yep. and be who they are. You know yeah. what I mean? But we didn't have to. Them niggas, we didn't get to see their early shit. Yeah, man. They, by the time we were, you know what I mean, coming up, they was already good at but the you shit. See, you gotta look like, at it like this. When we saw Ice Cube and Boys in the Hood, Nigga, we didn't know that nigga was that motherfucking good. Yeah. We was like, when the fuck did this nigga learn how to do this shit? Because you got to keep in mind, like, we ain't right. thought about none of this post-production. Like, not that this shit was shot last year or some shit. Or yeah. over, you know what I mean? Right. Over two years. We just thinking, like, damn, this shit new. They must have just did this shit. Right. This the, nigga, he, he always like that nigga that had. He done dropped, process. like, three yeah. classic albums in a row. Yeah. And we like... We ain't never seen this shit before. Yeah, right, right. Then so, he did the Anaconda movie. He was going man, crazy. Yeah. But they, see, that's he went I mean. on a run. Yeah. That level of us not being able to see it gave them the ability to be able to figure it out without us being able to see it. But, but now, the thing, though, the thing, with I all think, the access, but, but now, we I'm watching just, everything a nigga I'm, doing. Yeah. I'm definitely saying, but now it's more harder because yeah. back then, we didn't have that much access. To everything. We don't know what, what they doing behind the scenes. Scene. Yeah. So, like, when you seen, like, yes, Ice Cube was a hell of an actor, but nigga... You ain't see him in no shit like that or others in that limelight like that. Right. So it was like, they the only one. Yeah. Now, 
<laughs> no, I mean it. What is in DC Young Flies? Yeah. I mean, and they yeah. only got to do is take I mean, their phone and show you. I mean, they don't give a fuck so, about us. So yeah. it's like that shit crazy. <laughs> but bro. given the given the grace, that's why I say I hope that we give the the great ones the grace to know that man, you gotta kind of take that old mentality and let a nigga really develop into the greatness because now it's so easy to access. The celebrity, if you will, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying, yeah. to be, you know what I mean, the motherfucker could just pick their phone up and say whatever they say, want to say to that, you. But that, mm -hmm. but that what makes it different, and you could tell in, like, when you speak of, like, the done truth, you just got to be a, a student of the, of the craft, right? We can't worry about how much access niggas got. We have to show them why the access don't matter. Right. You just overly consumed. Nobody could have done a Bobby Brown like that. That's why I did. Everybody played their role, nigga. That's why it showed how great they was. If let them niggas would have just put the, the niggas right before y'all who almost had mm -hmm. the part. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that shit wouldn't have did that, gang. Yeah. It would have just been another biopic and niggas would have been like, eh, cool. They had to put the niggas in there who really want to do it and it showed when God got the light on you and you take it serious yeah. and you want to show people yeah, see, that's, you yeah. great, yeah. Yeah. that shit going to come out, mm -hmm. gang. That shit going to come out. Every see that one of them yeah, ones, bitch. man, yeah. that month, like yeah. holidays and shit coming up, everybody about to be around the family, man. That's one of them ones you pull up. You put on. Again. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's so many that you're not going to put on that you make you appreciate the ones that you do because, yeah. man, I fucked around the other day and was on YouTube watching that Michael Jackson, man, with my man Flex did Michael Jackson. <laughs> hey, that shit was funny, man. It ain't but one Michael Jackson, and that's Jason Weaver. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And whoever that light-skinned nigga was that Brother. played him, Brother. 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 he did good. Yeah, he killed it. Flex. You know he died right after, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, he the nigga that played, played see, bro. he didn't get a chance to that see. That just, oh, hey, yeah, bro. That nigga was so he believable. Was hard, bro. He was believable hey, as fuck. Hey, the makeup department fucked up for doing Flex like that. Me too, man. I remember one time, I didn't even know what movie it was, right? I'm just going, I'm flicking through channels. Flex had to get I, a bag for that. And you remember when he was walking in the park with him? Yeah, it? man. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> 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 You know that time. hurt, Flex? Hell yeah. That shit so? hurt. That shit hurt. So? We got to understand what he was doing. Like, I grew up off of one-on-one one one and shit. Right. Flex was the Flex ultimate was cool father Flex figure. You want him Flex to be in everything. And when he did Michael Jackson, bro, they didn't care about none of that shit he did before then. And Think about the, it. Yeah, that could happen. That's the rich you run of being an actor. But this is the thing, as an actor, like, when, actor. when we... We don't get a lot of chances. Not saying that he couldn't have done it. You feel me? But when you get into a position where you like, all right, we have to start making decisions where they're going to enhance us or we're doing a favor for our friend. Right. right. But still, it's like, all right, nigga, what is favor going like? Mm -hmm. you need, this shit need to be a stepping stone for you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Everybody need to be going up and helping each other. Mm -hmm. We can't put ourselves in a position where it's like, I know I done turned our road. I'm like, ah, that shit ain't helping me. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, uh, it ain't helping me. And it's like, we can't put ourselves in a position where it could probably hurt our career versus us saying, we want to be challenged, yeah. but this might not be the right challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's a challenge, but give it to a nigga who might deserve this challenge. Like, yeah. no, nah, uh, you play yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate you thinking about a nigga, but I ain't playing yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't playing yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I ain't hey, playing. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? I ain't playing Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 what, if, what if it was one of them situations where you ain't get to decide? Mm. Mm. He might have signed he five picture deal, and you don't get the yep. pick. Yeah. And you got to think about he he's on he's fire on this time where it's like now you got the first look deal. You know about yeah. the first look deal. Yeah. 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 You the first look at Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, you got. You got to play it. <laughs> yeah, he probably like no. They like. Come on, bro. come on! Put this shit on. If that's the case, I know he was looking at the makeup people when they finished. Like, man, yeah, man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know that first paragraph, he got it, he got the first option. When that nigga started talking, he was like, I just don't believe it. I was like, oh, that's Michael. <laughs> <laughs> He was locked in, though. He was locked in. <laughs> he, he, yeah. if he, he did take it serious. With the makeup, I think he, he did was, take yeah. it serious. Yeah. No cap. I and love Flick. But if Mike was love it. What if Mike fucked with it, though? That's what we got to find out. Mike was like, nobody did it better than Flex. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. You know I mean? That's so really like, all that matter. A lot of people <laughs> trying to play me. But Flex, Flex got it right. Yeah. No cap. No cap. He might have known that shit. Might, might have been a nigga that been like that. Like Ann Right? Yeah. yeah. I want Flex. <laughs> I want Flex yeah. now. <laughs> Give me Flex. <laughs> Give me Flex. Yeah, yeah. I want him now. I want him now. Flex Yo. Washington, now. <laughs> flex Alexander. Give me Flex. Have my face. Yeah, yeah. Where's my monkey? <laughs> what? You sure about this? But I yeah. want Flex. Yeah, that nigga there, bro. That's I love Flex, thing, man. Yeah. Like, well, how, did, how did Bobby feel about your portrayal of him? Did you, did you ever have that conversation with him? Nah, he said he loved it. That's dope. From yeah, the jump? from the jump. Because, you know, some people be like, let me see. So, and so the moment you start doing it, he, you know what I'm saying, you getting the game from him, he, he embraced it. Hey, yeah, as soon as he seen me, we was in dance rehearsal. So he seen me do, uh, I think it was either my prerogative or every little step. Mm -hmm. He was like, yep, that's me. He was like, all you need is the gap. So I had to go get like the fake teeth uh -huh. done or whatever. Mm -hmm. We was good. That's what it is. Yeah, now, you bro. working with 50, man, like we always down in Shreveport for the, uh, you know what I mean, uh, the humor. Fresh. The uh, oh, human homage. Up, right? And they was looking for you. Okay. Was, he was working. That's the only reason he wasn't there. But just, you know, speak to him as a, as a, you know what I mean, a leader in regards to the film space because he's also doing something different than what we knew him for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We know him for being one of the biggest rappers ever, but yep. now he's shifted into a whole new space. So just speak to, like, who he is in that space because we all know him as the rapper. Yeah, but, you know, not yeah. many people get to see what he looked like on that other side. Mm -hmm. hey, Y'all got a whole universe. Nah, mm -hmm. 50, bro. And he a genius. He a genius, bro. And he really about his business, so I, I appreciate everything he's doing. He's really making superstars, you know what I mean? While well, a lot of people overlook us, because I ain't worked for a year after Bobby Brown. I was just sitting around chilling, you know what I mean? But I got that call from 50 and them, just go do power. So so, so, so take people through the process, because I, I, I said it, a statement earlier. People don't understand the acting game. Like, it's really a, it's a lottery ticket. Like, you really got to go fish for it. Like, you got to, You bro. just did, think about yeah. it. You just did Bobby Brown, right? Mm -hmm. You just made all this fucking noise, nigga. Mm -hmm. All this fucking noise. The Asians swear they be, you're going to have so many opportunities come across today. Yeah. Y'all just made so much fucking noise, and you ain't get a gig in a year. Nothing. Because I think the other side don't understand how big it was for the culture. Right. You know, I, I know me and my manager went to the Essence Festival at the time, and everybody was taking pictures. And then we got in the car. She was like, are those all your cousins? I'm like, what? But she white? Yeah. Oh, man. She called the agency. She was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like, we got so many. I was like, you don't know how big New Edition. We did 29 million views. For them not to understand, like, how big it was in the culture, it was crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, being around the guys and seeing them, and, you know, I went to see them in Vegas. That was crazy as I met them in New Orleans, man. It's, and it's, it always blows my mind. I'm going to ask you this question, mm -hmm. too. Like, has anybody ever recognized you? Before I even tell a story, have anybody ever recognized you? And you was like, nigga, you know me. I think when I was a dancer. For real? Yeah, yeah, that was the first time. Because rocking with CB for five years, they knew all the dancers. So when people just pull up, oh my God, you, you were the Chris Brown dancer. That was like the first time of, of understanding what that was. Uh, he could be uh, dancing, not just dancing. Like, yeah, he, you, be, he said Chris Brown, you dance by him. Yeah. You got to be a mutant he, a little bit. He got 12, <laughs> yeah, he got 12 favorite dancers. Yeah, yeah, it's man. the same nigga. Yeah. You got to be a mutant yeah, a little Chris bit to dance by him. You don't have no new niggas dancing by him. Y'all niggas are mini Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> Chris different, bro. Chris <laughs> different, bro. Chris really like, I didn't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I be like, I just followed the path. I had no idea it was going to bring me Chris. You know what I mean? I didn't grow up dancing. I learned how to dance in college. Because oh, all the really? women, all the women love niggas on stage. I was like, nigga, we in school with them every day. Y'all like this? I'm like, so I spent the whole summer learning how to dance. And then that just brought me to LA. So bring it back. Take, bring it back, nigga. You learning how to dance. Yeah. So you, you take us through that process of you learning how to dance, and then you get with Chris, and then now he's molding you guys into choreographers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chris was molding me really to play Bobby. I don't even think we knew that. You see what I'm saying? So when I seen the clip of Bobby dancing, I was like, oh, that's Chris. I seen this before. I know how to do that. So that's why that role was a lot easier for me. That's something hey, where you, you teach yourself how to dance. But that's what I'm trying to say. You, you don't know how to dance, because this shit means Q, Cadence, <laughs> one, two, three. Like, you got to know this shit. How do you teach man? yourself how to dance? Bro, I, get, <laughs> <laughs> I get addicted to learning shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like the art side. I hated school. What was your first move? I know it was ugly. 
Like your go-to, like, I know they gonna do it. Nah, we did like a Lil Wayne, like, because the dance crew, Striker, shout out to Strikers, uh, Striker. Fam, you, if you know about the strikers, we was... You with the fam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Salute to the fam, fam. We love Nigga, HBCU'd up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Salute to the fam, you So I originally went to uh, fam, you for the marching band. I played sousaphone. Okay. You know? Damn, that's the shit. That ain't the shit that's around us. That's the big, the big, yeah. Oh, okay. So I seen Drumline. That's what made me want to go to college. You know what I mean? So every time I see Nick, I'm like, yo, shout out to you. You really changed my life. Right. Like, that's some real shit. So I always want to do movies that's going like do the same So you went in the band before else. college? Uh, and I got in the band in high school. Drum okay, I came cool, out in cool, high school. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? And then that's when I learned how to play the tuba. Then I got a full full scholarship to go to uh, FAMU. And then from there, I'm doing that. Then I learned how to dance. And then from there, I just kept moving on. That's Anything I want to learn, bro, I'm going to learn it. I'm producing now. I'm producing music now. So I'm always in the studio. Pop your shit. Uh, that's you know what dope. I mean? Yeah, yeah that shit was like. But like, back to what I was gonna say about the new edition. I'm in New Orleans. I'm walking through the hotel. I'm like, man, oh shit, nigga, they go Ronnie from New Edition. So I could go to say what's up to him. He was like, oh shit, Chico Bean, what's up, nigga? I'm like, nigga, you know me? Yeah. He's like, yeah, course. come to the show tonight. And I'm just there, you know, I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. man. But the nigga made sure I yeah, get my number so you can come, man. I came to the show and that was my first time seeing what. Fame look like oh, yeah. real. That's fame, exactly. nigga. Like I never like I'm talking about them mm niggas. -hmm. Still got. I'm talking mm -hmm. about still women got. who I'm your mama, your auntie, and all them. Yeah. And but think, still, but think, but think about though. These are the people that some of the people that still didn't even get a chance to see them when they were young. Yeah. They still, still living they, like they, they fucking, fucking dream. dream. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what I was yeah. talking about. And mm. I just, I just mm. went recently when they had, they got a residency in Vegas, and I went to see them and chop it up with them. And I just sat back in the, the, they had a meet and greet. And I just sat, you know, in the back and just watched. Because we do these, now we in that space. Like, mm -hmm. this is what we do. But to see 40 years, <laughs> 40 yeah. years yeah. of of success. And we and still them, not on their and level. Them, and they still <laughs> doing it. And it was just like sitting <laughs> rock star bro. shit. Yeah. And seeing like the, the patience shit. level, the, the the way that they interacted with people 40 years. I'm like, man, this and is I went to their show. Amazing. Yeah. I went to their show. They was in they was in uh, State Farm, right? It probably had to be like 40,000 people in it, bit, right? They were like, make some noise if you if you if you born in the 90s. It was like, woo. They were like, make some noise you born in the 80s. They were like, woo woo. They were like, make some noise you born in the 70s. They were like, wow. They were like, make some noise if you was born in the motherfucking 60s. Jeez. That shit said. <laughs> 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 I was like, boy, every it's bit of insane. 58 plus in this mm -hmm. motherfucker. I'm talking about 58 years plus. Mm -hmm. yeah. They got 40,000 people out and yeah. they still know how to have a good time. Yep. I'm just admiring yeah. like, the, bro, the showmanship, bro. It's like, crazy the times that we used to live in and how we not like, the younger generation don't appreciate none of this yeah, shit. Bro. It's too easy. None of that. It's, it's too easy. Mm -hmm. we, I'm watching people having a time of their life. Hey, every little step. I'm talking about women. Like, ah! I'm like, <laughs> you still want to get that nigga some push. That's crazy. Will, tonight. Old, like, you 63 want to get a nigga. That shit don't work. I'm talking about, yes, it will. And for, for Bobby, Bobby will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Bobby and Ronnie and Ricky I'm and Mike, like, it will. Amazing. I'm talking yeah. about, and just watching them in Vegas, man, I'm sitting at, at the show and watching and knowing that these dudes, these dudes are just running through hits. I mean, just hit after hit after hit. Then they go into the individual shit. And then they go into the individual hits. And then, man, that nigga Ralph then back to some group hits. came out and sang uh, Sensitivity, bro. Man, that nigga had the whole... I'm talking about the ladies got up out their seat and was damn near... I'm talking about trying to pull the stage down. Girl, I know it's been sad. <laughs> since you went away. Yeah. I'm like, man, that's crazy. You can only... Hope to have that type of longevity, yep. but to see how that is handled, like it's crazy. And when you think about the fact that them niggas got a movie that y'all did, like that's Love, you and Trench in history. They the top. They the top boy group ever. They was yeah. They was first. Nigga, they came, well, they in the first of their generation. Mm -hmm. Then new kids on the block. All them yeah, niggas. They, they, all they, that. They, that they, Edition. That was the the, the, the that shit. Yeah, yeah, the all new all edition was right. Lemon Sex. Yeah. The back the, 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 the new kids on the block was friends. I ain't even gonna lie, snug in one of them, them back street boys, motherfucker. For real? Going crazy. For real? You got a t-shirt too? I wanna be a fool. Hey man. 
them, them white bitches cry. Yeah. They faint too. They yeah. cry. They just be, I just be, it just, bro. it just fun. And seeing that's them cry. another thing. Like, Look at them. Mm -hmm. When you think about the accomplishments, bro, you <laughs> tell me why. <laughs> you host, <laughs> yeah. you host yeah. the TRL, my nigga. I remember right. watching TRL when the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Eminem used to come. They used to have to close the curtains on the windows so the mm -hmm. people outside wouldn't go crazy and pass Facts, out and shit. Mm -hmm. Like Facts, that was, bro. you know what I mean? Like just that historical type of element of what we've been able to do, all of us have been able to do is just unreal when you really sit back and think about it, bro. Like, What's this shit the one is crazy. thing y'all feel like y'all haven't done yet that you want to do? Man, Go make that, make that well, for, for me, for us, I say make that classic, that movie, that classic comedy. Because I know it's coming. Yeah, we got it. It's on the it's, way. It's on the way. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that, you know, and that and making some music. Mm -hmm. Like, us actually getting in the studio and putting something out because mm -hmm. people have been asking us for that for a decade. It's on the way. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, like fly, 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 crazy. you know, fly always mm -hmm. as because that's that's what he's, that's his first love, his yeah. passion. You know, we just know how to do it because we fuck with the music. We musically inclined. We just mm -hmm. love the music, but we done made so much music just as far as for, you know, wilding out yeah. of what we do on stage just naturally, just getting in the studio and, and actually putting something together, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Like, just the, that body of work, I, I think that... That's hard. Bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, well, I'm a cartoon fan. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a cartoon. I want to say cartoon janky. If you make the right cartoon, you can make anybody sit down. Yeah. Kids. Good they cartoon, gonna have a boom yeah, no age though. range, yeah. You know what I mean? No age range with the cartoon, bro. They gotta be, but they gotta like. You gotta think about it. We were them kids that grew up off yeah, Hey yeah. Arnold and yeah. Arthur and all that shit. Them was some wholesome yeah. ass cartoons. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. Wholesome that's that's what I grew up on. And we just sitting there all day watching cartoons with a life lesson. Respect yeah. Hey Arnold. Yeah. He got yeah. me yeah. in the band with a stranger. Hey yeah. Arnold, what? Well, Arthur had a little white partner. He was cool. Let him do everything he want to do. Little Bud Bunny. Man, but he was light skinned though, I think. But that mean we got if we do it like they gotta have that element of the shit that's missing. That theme song, man, that was so important Back. on the cartoon, man. That theme song, uh, you gotta have that theme. That's yeah. why, that's yeah. why yeah. love Gracie's corner so much because mm -hmm. of the theme music. Mm -hmm. Like, you just love it. Get along with you two there. This was hard back then. Yeah. You got to listen to the heart. Listen, listen to the beat. Listen, listen to the rhythm. I remember the beat. Open up your heart. Open, Open up your mind. Is there way to make things better? By working together. Every man you like me. I like the heart. Let's believe in yourself. And there's the place to start. And I say, hey, hey. What a wonderful time you did. When you can learn to walk and play. Yeah. And get along with the. Classic. It gets you, but it, but you know what it do? It gets you ready to watch the show. Yeah, you never forget it. You Even hit. if the show bullshit, like oh, they ain't talking about nothing. It mm -hmm. don't matter. Nigga, the show was lit. And then guess what they do? They bring that beat back on with the credit. You got to listen to the high. Listen <laughs> to the beat. Listen to the rhythm. Yeah. The rhythm and then the you beat. never forget that. That stay with you for the rest of your life. That's, That's why when I, I took my winning. my daughter, my daughter, and them. On their little 16th birthday trip, I got to sing in one of the cartoons I used to watch with all of them when they was little. And to see them go right back in the singing, the thing it was called Super Y. It was about this, this little, uh, came on PBS Kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a book reader. He was a super book reader. And then I started singing that song, and they all just immediately went back to being little girls. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? That shit was crazy because you 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 hear the right theme song and it's gonna take you back to your childhood. Always, What's that one for you, Lois? Where you hear it, it just make you go right back to Andy Griffin. Come on, man! <laughs> Stop playing with my man That's like crazy. that. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I literally grew up in the greatest era of growing up in you fucking did, human history. Would you talk your talk, nigga? Every I, bro, these theme songs are fucking burned into my mind. Like who? Like like, like motherfucking. Thundercats and G.I. Joe and motherfucking Fred Thundercats. Flintstone, Thundercats. nigga. Yeah. Nigga, Thund Flintstone. <laughs> the Flintstone. Nigga, that shit used to go so hard. Fred we would be Thundercats. outside and hear that shit and be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, yeah. the yeah. Jetsons. Oh, yeah. I hate Come on, man. Nah, it was day. Hard, bro. I couldn't resonate with it. Nigga, like we grew up with the other <laughs> TV show so with the greatest. Damn song in cartoons. Ain't got no robot oh. made, bitch ass. Nigga, I'm talking about, I ain't ate today. Scooby Doo. Ain't robot made. Oh, yeah. Scooby Doo. They got a robot made. I ain't ate today, but I can't resonate this shit. Man. Man. It's the hardest shit. Get this shit out. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we don't know if that was like a disco or what. Cut this shit off. <laughs> Classic. Nigga, stay on shit. the highest flow. You run out of gas. 
Oh, here now. I got, I'm taking you to the gas station. Ooh. Oh, I got you something. What, bring this up there. What it is, man? Just slide it. Just slide it over. Bring it up here. We got some cane weed. Come on, bro. Cane. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take you out to the gas table. station, man. That's crazy. Take you out to the oh, gas station. Oh, that's hey. dope, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's you know what I got you. About, you know man. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got you. I got that brain. That nigga was like, man, I'm selling so much of this shit on TV, yeah, man. Bro. I got to put something in the street. Yeah, Come on, man. man. Go ahead, put you. You know what I mean? Nigga, look at my blood. Is it? You running out of gas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you don't know how to get it. Spray that shit. Yeah. Ain't it, ain't it, ain't it, it like that. I got some people going to What made up. you want to get into that? Come on, bro. I got to supply the people. On I mean, and off the screen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, like, right. but that's still like something that if you you don't think that you can, if you don't think that you can, you know what I mean, uh, like really Ooh. make it work, then you don't take that risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what I got, made you understand it? I always got good people in my life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Nelly. Gas station. He the one that came with me with the idea of that's creating right. the power pack. Okay. I was like, bro, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, 50, 50 got behind it. Yeah, 50 fuck with it. Oh, okay. I've seen it. You know how motherfuckers did, but like, Nelly. Shut up, Nelly. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. I agree. Oh, yeah. It's not that Nelly. <laughs> what is that? Fly? I, I, I agree. Hey, I thought you were talking about the other Nelly. It's that Nelly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm saying, shout out to Nelly. Much love to a shot to him, baby. And the baby, they got a baby. You know what I'm saying? We need G, you nigga. Don't hear you, man. He can't do this, man. He can say he don't even smoke weed. Yeah, exactly. He don't even look at the shit. That nigga gonna let it be 166. He ain't smoking it. He probably sold it. And I'm gonna keep bags. I know they're one of one. That's one of one. One of one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. One of one. Like, that is a, you know, that done became one of those series that you know gonna be around for the rest of forever. Like, yeah. Power, just the name Power. Like, it's like one of those shows. It's, it's like the modern day New York undercover, but you know what I mean? It, it expanded. Yeah. You know what I mean? It keep expanding. Like, the, did you have a desire to be a part of that before you got the call, or was it? How long has been, too? I spent, what? For the whole Power joint? Yeah. Maybe like 10 years now. Yeah. I think this year is 10 years for, uh, for the Power That's Universe. That's fire, because niggas don't need to be on TV that long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long you been on there? Four. Four. Four years. Yeah. And 50, another one that did the theme song thing. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. the he turned and up the with big the power thing. Yeah. I just ain't want to be saying no one. Just come from the poorest He be like, see, that one ain't put you on power right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just neat. But that's one of the songs that they can play in the club, yeah. club and I'm cool yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. But I hate being in the club and they playing Future and I get in there and they start playing every little step. Out of nowhere, they'll play Bobby Brown. I'm like, nigga, I am not Bobby Brown. <laughs> oh, nigga, fuck. Give me the mic. Like, you think you're saying this? Yeah, I'm yeah. like... <laughs> That that be killing you me want, every time, you bro. Do you want to do something? Hey, you want to do something? Where Eddie? Hey, 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 nigga, try to make it sound like a good idea. You know what would be funny as hell? What? If I handed you the mic and you go on stage and you do the dance move, you a fucking mother, <laughs> though. You remember the dance move? Bro, every... <laughs> I hate that, bro. I hate it. Wow. Now, that shit would just be crazy if you just, if you just what, did. What, what, he's not Bobby Brown. I mean, I know, but what make you... <laughs> At this point, what you make pay you, Wood to come yeah. in and be Bobby Brown. I mean, I, I understand that part, but when you say you hate it, that means it has happened in so many different ways that it made you hate the shit. Mm -hmm. like, people be dude, trying to be funny. That, and we heard all the... That's like a pretty girl. Like She heard that she's been pretty a million times, so now she kind of numb to it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, So now it's like I've heard every single Bobby Brown joke in the world. I've heard every single one. I've seen all the memes. So now it's just like, when I hear it, it's like, come on, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. but I'm trying to get over the fact that it's their experience with me, right. so let me let me go ahead and let them get that. Yeah, I mean, some they shit ain't they ain't like, like, all, like you said, yeah, forty years from now, yeah, motherfuckers yeah, still gonna be doing this. You they heard they what I said, Bobby Brown? They should let you do that Ja Rule video in the movie. You heard me calling your name? They took it out. They took it out. Yeah, so you did. Oh, you getting bored? Oh, they took it out. They took it out, bro. That shit was hard. They took they took it out. <laughs> Nigga, that that's was hard. my favorite shit. The kick out the helicopter. Hell yeah, man. Greatest shit. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> that nigga killed that guy. Nigga, I was man. a child, so I ain't get a chance to see Bobby Brown, but I got to saw that Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that glimpse of Bobby Brown, I'm like, oh, this the nigga they love. Yeah. Mm. And I was, bro, it was amazing seeing that people were happy that he was back. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah, around I had people a Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown mm -hmm. Yeah, you they talking about? Man, boy. See, I remember oh, being man. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, the, mm. BM, the, the TV show. That's the Bobby Brown I grew up with. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah, saying? I, I remember, I remember mm -hmm. just the, the music because I grew up in.
in the house with all my family members, but I remember my uncle, my uncle was a DJ, and one of the things that he always used to tell me about Bobby Brown is he would always reference Babyface. Like, you know, Babyface wrote all this shit in that mm. Babyface wrote the whole album. Matter of fact, Babyface wrote all this, so it just made me look at, like, I just have a affinity for the niggas that write music, like the coming from my uncle, Babyface, Smokey Robinson, you know, the, the writers, the niggas that can write music for themselves, yep. but then can Neo and niggas like that that can oh, tap into... I don't know how them niggas do that shit. Yeah. Right? Like, Babyface wrote Superwoman. That's my mama's favorite song. Hard, but to bro. be able to tap into a woman's mentality to write from that perspective is crazy. It's a bro. gift, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. crazy. They bro. walking in their purpose, so they ain't never going to miss. Yeah, yeah all the way. Oh, what made you want to get into the production of, of music? You know what I mean? Drumline. Drumline, for yeah, real? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to do everything music. So when I got to FAMU, it was like, that's when I got introduced to Fruity Loops, and I started cooking up back in the way. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're talented, but cooking, bro. Got one with Sadie. I seen you got one with Sadie too. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadie, yeah. Sadie, yeah. Sadie, yeah. Hey, man, Sadie be going crazy, crazy, man. man. Mm -hmm. That nigga Sadie talented. He a fool right too now. Yeah, he hard. Yeah. It's Sadie, Sadie hard, Sadie, bro. Sadie talented, man. Super slept on. And the production is such a big part of the music, yep. man. Like you know, I mean, I always had my favorite producers, like the young nigga Cash Cobain out of New York, hard. right now. Like all oh, the this that sound. Like when you I create a whole new sound. Pop Lord. Pop Lord. His name Yaki in the city, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, for real? Yeah, I ain't Yaki. never heard of him. You know who's fucking this game up. Pop he go crazy. He, he, he go crazy. Fuck these yeah, niggas yeah, up. Yeah, he, he go, go crazy. crazy. Man, take Key hard, too. Yeah. Man, that's the that's the hardest tag, bro. Yeah. Take Key. Take Key. Fuck, fuck these niggas up. That's nah, the hard. You know, you know what's the other one? Uh, what's my man name? Uh, they got the Jamie Foxx shit. Uh, Hey, yo, P.A., you want yeah, to come out here? Yeah, that's hard. Like that, that young yeah. nigga. Yeah, that's you know hard. what I'm saying? You know, if young Metro don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. Hard. We's out of here. Yeah. We's out of here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, OG you know Parker. Shit, I like the OG Parker one, too. Uh, OG, OG Parker. Parker. That's OG Parker. hard. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that beat tag. And then Zaytoven, of course. Zaytoven. Oh, that boy, mm -hmm. uh, that boy School got one he made for London. We got London on the track. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. That's Mark the, the, the mm -hmm. beat. Listen to this track, bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn yeah, yeah, away, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's an aggressive one right there. Mm -hmm. Listen to this trap, bitch. Yeah, man, you listen to it. I gotta be a bitch. Man, you listen to it. I like the song. One of my I... favorite tags, though, is that, damn, son, where'd when you, you find, find this? That shit be crazy. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I couldn't, I couldn't listen to, um, uh, Light Skin DJ, man. DJ Drama. Back then, I used to listen to some of them, but the ones he went crazy with his DJ mixing on. Mm. It was hard. I used to like I when that nigga talked shit. I used to try to tell shit. these niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas wasn't ready. You look, it'd be like three minutes and 41. Going I tried to tell you in two minutes and 30 seconds. And then the niggas just start talking ready. about irrelevant shit. Yeah, yeah. You seen us last Thursday <laughs> outside the club. <laughs> four blue Ferraris, five black ones. That's nine cars for you niggas who can't count. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. want to hear the song. Yeah. I want to hear the song. We living better than you niggas. We <laughs> eating better vegetables. We taking vitamins. Yeah. Yo, shout out to all my niggas. <laughs> you probably going to live home. longer than a lot of these niggas because we richer than these niggas. Uh -huh. Getting more paper. <laughs> fucking more hoes. Doing more push-ups. Uh -huh. Jumping more rope than these niggas. Nigga, Don't let that go over your head. What's Bro. my man name out of Florida, the DJ? Uh, 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 Sam Sneak? No, 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 no. He be talking on everybody's shit. Uh... I'm hat man. I'm having a brain. Uh, you talking about DJ? Uh, I know you, you talking you know about. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. he, like, Yo, he like a Haitian. He like Jamaican or Haitian or something like that. Damn. What's my man? Not the Jam Pony shit. Not the nigga who be on Lucha shit, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bigger Rank. 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 And listen to a real nigga talk. Right. Gucci, talk to these niggas. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, and you yeah, like, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got yeah, it. I got 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 it. I I'm like, who lied? <laughs> These niggas be lying, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, but that made us want to listen to it, though. Mm -hmm. It was story Stay tuned. We coming back. We'll be right back in January. <laughs> you listen to this, it's probably March. Tapped in. By the time you roll back around, we'll be doing what we already did. You sound like that nigga from uh, Payton Ford. That's a legendary <laughs> day. We got my nigga Carlos Miller in the building. 
Just pull that with a brand new gold BBS. Mm -hmm. Got that boy Willie in the building. Mm -hmm. He is not Bobby Brown. Don't pull that bullshit. Right. Got that boy DC Young Fly in the building. I don't know if he can fly, but he look like he can. Yeah, we rock home in the building. That, that, that nigga, nigga was right. telling yeah, that, everything. My nigga DC's in the building. Selling mad coke uptown. Bobby <laughs> 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 Boyd is in the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Classic, Let me take Dave bro. Yeah, Classic. Need some more classics, man. I can't wait to see what y'all do. Please Don't give worry, me the man. call. Don't worry, oh, man. nigga. We give got me the call. Oh, yeah. without question, man. We easily find something for you to do. Yeah, baby. I'm excited to see what y'all do. Up everything, with, bro. bro. For so, sure. Right, we got you. Life, life, one of my favorite movies. So I want to see something like. Oh that yeah, kind of life is life is lit. My, my favorite move all the time. Watch. Man, fuck that <laughs> cheap ass watch. <laughs> say that. Say that shit again. Say that shit. Just say whoop. Just say whoop. Just say whoop. 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 Just say whoop. 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 Favorite movie, Rock sitting there watching it, and I smile for it. Like, yeah. Uh-uh, I just smile for it, and when I watch it, I just be like, damn, that's me? Money talk. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I just be oh. happy in here when I watch this movie. I be like, this shit, fuck. That's yeah, so Vic Damone, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that explain my Vic, life. My yeah. Vic Damone, bro. Uh, uh, somebody just trying, to, just trying mm -hmm. to figure it out day for day. <laughs> You, and I'm gonna I'm twerk you like you think yeah. that's me, but I'm gonna finesse yeah. you. That nigga face right. I love said, they put their hands on you. Damn, man, the motherfucker came. See, listen, I was trying, and then I was running, and then I was calling, I'm like, get off me, man. Let me tell you something. So, listen, I was over there, right? And they came, and they grabbed me. They grabbed like, me. They yeah. was like, get off me, man. Listen, I was trying, and then when they came, and they was all along, and I told them before, get the fuck out of me. Boom, 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 boom. And then they grabbed me. I'm like, what the hell wrong with you? So, what I'm trying to say here, I told them folks, everything going on. What the hell? What the hell have your shirt, man? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Classic, bro. No Classic. No cap, bro. They don't make it like that no more, man. But you hey, know man, what? I hate that. Underrated that bitch, when the motherfucker went to that auction. Oh, yeah. He was over there. He was like, man, what That's you doing? That's not it. That's not it, man. Oh, that I'm telling it. you that. That's not it. <laughs> and he got into a motherfucking back and forth. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> man, that shit was so funny. Yeah, classic, bro. Classic, man. That's what I mean. Like, just one of those. Dude. So is he Vic Damone's kid or is he, is he, is he Adam Wooly or? <laughs> Vic Damone, my nigga. Mm -hmm. But you know Damone. what? You know what he did great in and got them uh, dead president. Oh yeah, right. that was a that was a that was a that was, you know, that that was, was a role was, right there. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like that's just those classic type of movies. Like I said, man, Martin and Thin Line Between Love and Hate. That nigga came out there, man. I just left up out the police station. Man, they ain't give a nigga no respect up in that <laughs> motherfucker, man. Yo, know, I tell them they the girl, you know what I mean? She chasing me, you know, like, oh, she abusing you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that nigga nervous, bro. Hey, hey man. Where the fuck am I going to go? Damn, Plastic, man. Classic, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Street. Down to the break bed. Hard, bro. <laughs> that nigga delivered that pizza and ran down the street. I thought I was going to piss on my Oh, yeah. yeah. That blue suit. That's some of that funniest shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, the most, I think the most, it, it's the weirdest part. It's not the weirdest part, but this part that made me cry the hardest. On Friday, we were smoking, trying to stop his car, and then and the Chuck Taylor got caught. <laughs> Nigga, I was on the ground crying at the house. Because I'm like, bro, it took everything in him for him to stop that car, mm -hmm. bro. He was like, God damn, yeah. man. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, bro. That thing was heated. God damn, bro. Stop it, stop it, motherfucker. Yeah, stop yeah. It. Stop it. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I'm telling yeah, you, bro. Yeah, man, that's what I mean. Like, them just, just oh. being able to have that type of bad... Just putting that piece of work out there, bad where it's gonna live forever, bad. Mm -hmm. We got what? We got a couple of betters, but we just, you know, we gonna put one out, bro. You know what we gonna start doing, man? We in position now. We know some niggas from Saudi Arabia. They got some money. And they just told us... Just bring me back the movie. That's God it. create. Hmm. Here, man, man, money. Here, here, money. Hmm. Go create. Yep. 
Ten nigga and that's what we did. I thought like something that like that. That's hard. That's not the way I that's talk. That's hard. Yeah. 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 I'm telling. Yeah. But we gotta show them y'all. Well, ain't my, my, my money. Money. Yes. For, the, for the you, for you, my friend. You. For you. We go. We have oil. I you. said, what y'all got? We have oil. I'm like, they say oil. Now we. Need, said, <laughs> yeah, we need to talk like them so they don't know. What? Come fuck they with fuck us with on you. the next one. Okay. No, yeah. my friend, listen. Look, my driver, Andy, he cool here. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, cool listen, listen, yeah. listen, 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 let's make deal, okay? I saw mm. your food. Mm. Mm. Y'all be flying out? Y'all be flying out? You thought I'm going to walk this dick for not to get rich. I said, what about That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, 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 I'm pulling up. My friends, my friends, you know these guys. Listen, come on, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. For you. Special. Hey, deal. my friend, come on, let's make deal. Make deal. You make movies. Let's make deal. You, you make, make movies. movies. I make the movies. Come on, guys, guys, come on, That's guys, hard. guys. I'm telling. Congrats, bro. Come on. But I'm also, I'm Congrats, also. Bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Really? I'm, I'm on the Eddie Murphy shit. I'm, it's, mm -hmm. it's time to get in the prosthetics. Got to. Oh, that's so crazy. Bloody professor. Like, it's little, and that's the thing, like, we already do these characters live on stage. Like, we just turn into different mm -hmm. niggas every time we do shows. I just like entertaining. And it's, that's probably one of the funnest parts of Wild and Out. Like, I was, when I was in Buffalo, Annie came to the show. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about just them episodes we get to dress up like wrestlers and right. be Jamaicans. We just having fun, yeah, that bro. That shit be the funnest shit because we get to come out and just it's do whatever, my nigga. Like, That's why I love anything improv, man. <laughs> it's because you don't... You, we was wrestling. Yeah. You learn that you don't this do nothing wrong. Love. Yeah, you can't. Can. <laughs> what did we nigga do? We was wrestling and they came out dressed like a boxer. This nigga don't be getting fucked. I like love he's supposed to be wrestling. He's like, yeah, I'm the boxer, nigga. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and they want to put him on tight and white. Hey, hey, man, nah, that, it, yeah. it's just so many times, bro. That, that when you had the motherfucking, just the, 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 the Lucia door mask on, my nigga. Uh, Roach, Roach, man. Man. Roach man. man. Yeah, Roach <laughs> man, man. That shit was classic. That's my favorite. Yeah, nigger man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's sucking on that pussy because I'm Roach man. Like, yeah. Bro. Like that goofy shit, bro. That be the funniest shit ever, my day. Is it, is it a lot of pressure when y'all do the, uh, the the improv stand ups? Nah, huh? nah, nah. Like that's to be yeah, fun. Like yeah, like, like you said, like that imagination. Yeah. That's what we get to do. Like, we just get to be, it's no restrictions. You can't, you can't do no wrong. You can't do no wrong. Whatever a nigga say is, we gonna just go off. It don't so matter. Quick with it too. You know, I seen y'all in South Carolina. Yeah, because we I just. I saw a clip the other day that had me on the motherfucking flow sometime. You know, you just be scrolling and then yeah. you'll scroll up on like a clip from the show that a fan posted. Nigga, I bet you y'all done forgot all about this shit. What happened, bro? He <laughs> <laughs> understood if she's in the dick pitch. Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I said it later. He's being like pistols. <laughs> he had the mic stand. He's <laughs> taking the dick. With the silver. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wrap it around your waist. That nigga spun around it. <laughs> I saw that the other day too. Yeah, uh, man, that lips be, and that just make us realize how much shit we done done. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? When you see them old clips of the shit niggas be posted, that shit be funny to the motherfucker. It was, it, was, it was another clip that nigga had that put around his head. Hit nuts long. <laughs> and he said he was fucking the bitch so low that when they nut hit the floor, it, it had no scoop or something to dust. No, nah, he said it left a, a nut yeah, imprint a nut, on the, it left a nut imprint on the floor. <laughs> he said, and that's how I knew she ain't been sweeping yeah, like she said she was. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> oh, man, I can't see how y'all oh, think that fast, God, bro. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Hey, man, he just, man, listen, we and that's the thing that makes this shit so fun. Yeah. Because you never know what a nigga going to say, man. <laughs> uh, man, you never know what a nigga going to say, man. This nigga, the last show we had, man, this nigga said some shit, man, that had me about to die. He was like, all right. He was like, titties too far apart. You keep on. He's like, yeah, yeah, you want to see them titties? Yeah, you want to see them titties on this dick? <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Insane, bro. 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 Ins
Right, it's just, it's just, it's, it's so much, man. We have those type of people that be like bringing life. That's one thing about improv, bro. We are going off of energy, mm -hmm. so it's like we 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 really don't see y'all. We hear y'all though, so it's like, and it's like y'all are voices in our head. Mm -hmm. That's how the people in the crowd is. So if a motherfucker be say some shit, we like. Hell yeah, yeah, we gonna go right along with mm -hmm. that shit, and we just create a whole space, bro. We just create a space, bro. I love, I love improv because you can't do no wrong. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. just like it's confident. You have to commit. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. commit. Whatever. It's all about commit. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like when you're doing it by yourself is one thing, but it's like to be able to see something just build off a of thought. Like I, I say something, then he take it, and then he just boom, and then it's just now nice, it's a whole. Scene and then the band start playing. Now yeah. we're making a song. Uh, we don't know none of this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. There is literally of uh, however many hundreds of shows we've done at this point. We ain't practiced not one thing ever. Mm -hmm. We just having fun. Yeah. It's, it's more so, it's, 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 it's our playground, it's, right? Yeah. That's, why, that's why we're appreciative and we're grateful. So, because every show, we know for a fact the people are coming to see this. Mm -hmm. They're coming to see us do this. So, it's like we're in the back, we're in our backyard, and this nigga's over the fence, like, then them niggas go, yeah. the niggas back outside. They like, nigga, them niggas. And, and we like, they all funny. and y'all niggas always like, yeah, like, yeah, like us, you know what I'm saying? Look at these niggas, they yeah. got this to do. Yeah. And they like, we like that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. they punishment. They back again. You know what I'm saying? No, we love this shit though. Man, what's next for you, Will? Man, what you got going, man? What you great get into? Man, I just created this comic book called The Brotherhood. Uh oh. What is it about? Um, you seen y'all seen Kingsman? Yeah. So you know how Kingsman got their own agency and they take yeah. place in the tailoring shop. But the Brotherhood is like our hub is like the cigar lounge. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what dope. I mean? And we do the missions that Kingsman don't get, that James Bond don't get. We get the bullshit. Like back in the day, uh, we had to sink the Titanic because it was filled with opium. And if it would have landed in the United States, that would have got out to the Black families. Community. Yeah, and it, it, it would have destroyed the U.S. Oh. So like the Brotherhood was the workers on there, but we were secretly Brotherhood uh, members and we sunk the type in and made it look like the ice. And it's a comic book? Yeah, it's a comic book. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so it's like a whole bunch of stories and history of why certain things happen. That's I dope. kind of put like you tied in the brotherhood in. Yeah. Yeah. They was secretly behind the, yeah. the shit that really that was going so to turn into a Netflix do, bro. Theory. It's so many different things. You'll live you to God. Do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Like, because black people invented so much stuff. Yeah. Like, you could incorporate that. Like, the nigga that invented the, the, the traffic light. Easy. Why he had Why he really had to do it. Yeah, exactly. Kidnapping black people in the South, and he had to make a way to stop for the exactly. brothers to be able to. Yeah, nigga, I'm gonna be a writer on that month. I like that. That's hard. <laughs> you know that was hard. But you yeah. see, you get yeah, it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's it. That's I'm dope. very passionate about that project right now. He already got the motherfucking shit copyrighted, you bitch ass nigga. Oh, yeah. He already got this shit in store for all you stealing yeah. that nigga. Fuck, yeah. nigga. It's over with. That's yeah, what yeah, nigga think. He writing it down like, yeah. must hurry up. Man, it sound like my niggas. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. niggas, I be stealing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been writing my niggas since I was in the seventh grade. Yeah. You gonna call the brotherhood steal my shit? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah dope, this bro. gonna be one of the ones. That's, you know what that's, I mean? that's, that's brilliant, bro, because it's like, like man, yeah, 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 I like that. That's fine. And the music, you know what I mean? Producing, staying in the studio. So if y'all get in the studio, let me know. Oh, we got one right there. Where you stationed at? I'm right here. Oh, nigga, I ain't not. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, Say no sure. more. We might go to the studio next week, then. Let me know. Say no more, then. He's staying there. Yeah, I'll be in there. I, yeah. got, I don't know why I say next year if it'll be so fun for me as an artist. Mm -hmm. Woody, drop your social media, man, so they can go check you out. And the social is Woody underscore the great. I don't know which, which one. Is it this all one? All the bitch. Oh, one. Woody underscore the great. Uh, follow your boy on all platforms. Yeah. Look, man, we're proud of you, what you bring to, it, bro. to the open game, to the entertainment, to the media world. Yes, sir. Hey, this your first time stopping through here. Man, don't let be the last. Pass. You, you a goat, my nigga. Yes, 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 85 South yes, Show, go, Woody McClain. We out of here. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, we're not. Wait a minute. We got, we got, we got some more shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave yeah. us a bag, we're giving you one. I'm taking this. Ooh. We got in here. Yeah, yeah represent that yeah. dirty, dirty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On this one. Hey, sir. It's your man Carlos Miller, and I'm over here at the 85 South Studios, 85 Ways. And look, if you would like to be featured on the black market, all you have to do is go to the website, go to black market, click submit, and submit. If you want to be featured on here, you can come kick it and be my guest, and we'll talk about your business and how we can scale up and what's going good and let the people know exactly what you got going on. Hit the website, register, submit, and come kick it with me on the black market. You know what that means. It's money on the floor.
Hey, what's up, it's man Carlos Miller? Look, you know the 85 South Shore is back on tour with the Big Business Tour. This year we're hitting the road and we're bringing comedy, culture, and chaos to cities all across the country. And we want you to be a part of it. We're looking for partners in every city, whether you're a local business or a national brand, this is your chance to get in on the action. Don't miss the opportunity to sponsor a show and connect with our incredible audience. If you're interested, just hit the email on the screen and let's make big business happen together. The 85 South Show Big Business Tour is coming to a city near you.